And welcome to Lawhammer! <laughs> okay, right, en enough fake laughter and all that nonsense. Uh, let's dive into what we're doing this week. <clears throat> this week, it's party time! Party! So, really looking forward to this. Uh, if you watched us last week, you'll be fully aware that uh, the good old Jakers ended their last session about to head into a giant garden party full of nobles, alcohol, and altogether too little to do. Certainly can't go wrong. Really looking forward to where that one's going. So before we do that, we have a couple of things to sort. Number one, experience for last week, because it certainly was an experience. Sadly, Leopold was not killed. <laughs> there was no McStabby in the McStabby face from our bestest bud over here. She decided to crit the roll to avoid stabbing him, which by the way, I thought was rude. <laughs> We'd just like to say that was super rude. It was, however, I think, a very well-timed roll. Good job. Beyond that, though, we managed to resolve the whole what happened to the champion situation. We know what happened to him, although we don't know how it happened yet. Mm. We're aware that they were caught underneath the influence of a rather nasty spell that had the... Oh, let's say some downsides. Olivia. Not looking at you, me, or anything. She'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, should be fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Feathers drifting down. Uh, so we found out about that. We uh, managed to secure somewhere to stay. Well done, Gerhardt. Mm. Uh, that was not necessarily the end. We also, yes. unfortunately, kind of lost Lucas. Got him back, though. Yeah. Well, we yeah. found him. Didn't yeah, we? yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the kind of part. You know, yeah. we got him back. He got better, kind of. Yeah. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. Um, we also managed to secure an ally, I suppose, in Dieter's fiance, mm -hmm. in that she secured, in turn, for you, tickets. She has a name anymore. Yeah, Kirsten. <laughs> um, <coughs> but she is, after all, only known by Dieter's fiance, um, oh, because boosh. I am a terribly boorish sexist. Um, <laughs> and Dieter's fiance has passed over tickets for the garden party, allowing you access to it. And it's also fair to say that some of us have got marvelous outfits and some of us do not. Not that I'm looking at anyone in particular. Just you wait. <laughs> 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 Although he might have a plan. Uh, so we all in all <clears throat> did pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna give you 105 XP each. Ooh. Ooh. Did anybody manage to secure a short term ambition? No. If you did, you get 50 XP. If you didn't, you obviously don't. And would anyone like to change theirs or make an amendment or an upgrade? Yes, I've changed nope. mine short term to make 15 daggers because <laughs> otherwise the dwarf's probably going to punch me in the face. Yep, mm. nice, nice, nice. Love that one. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Uh, anyone else want to do a change? Or are we all happy with what we have? Happy. We're all good. We're all good. Okay. Right, so beyond that, I have a couple of uh, little extras. Number one, the Rookery. Rookery publications normally stream every single Saturday, but we're not this weekend. I'm very sad and sorry to report because we're going to a wedding. Woo! Yeah. So um, good old uh, Lindsay and I are hiking it off to a wedding um, over in Duncarn Fort, um, which is going to be all kinds of awesome. Really looking forward to that. But that doesn't mean that if you're out there right now and you're thinking, well, what can I do on a Saturday? There is no option for you. We all know what I'm going to say, don't we? Because there's Dark Deeds! <laughs> you can pre-order Dark Deeds! What an exciting way to spend your weekend! You could just sit there at home and go, I've got nothing to do on a Saturday. What could I... I know I could pre-order a game that was created by Warhammer Legends, Mark Gibbons and Annie Chambers, and put together by three of the people around this table. I will name no names, but I think it's pretty much all Ed. Me. <laughs> He's all Three <almost> people. people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you listen to Sig Fedder, um, <laughs> totally unfair. Right, so Dark Deeds is available now. Um, <clears throat> there are hopefully links sitting inside Twitch somewhere. If you are watching this later over on YouTube, there will be links sitting down in the description of the video, and I'll probably drop a quick comment saying, please pre-order Dark Deeds, because we need a thousand copies to sell so we can make our next game. We have a whole massive <laughs> role-play game that we want to make. It's huge, but we need money. Oh, we need money. Um, I mean, pre-order Dark Deeds. <laughs> so, that done. Is there anything else anyone else would like to bring up, or shall we just dive in? 
I think we shall. And um, just a quick uh, call out to Hawk for dropping down the links for Dark Deeds over in the comments right now. Hawk, you rock. So with that, I do think it's time. <laughs> I think Six you're wrong. You're never getting our thumbs. <laughs> never. <laughs> there is an ongoing attempt to try and get everybody with thumbs up like that, but there are certain reluctant parties over in one corner who will not be me. Do we say reluctant or do we say stubborn? <laughs> reluctant, stubborn, Grumpy. stubborn, reluctant. We'll get them one It's day. pretty much the same thing. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah, that's right. it. So Photoshop those, graph them on where his thumbs would be. That would be perfect. <laughs> Just gigantic wooden ones like Lucas's pointy yeah. fingers. Um, Right, so without any further ado, I think it's time for us to start episode, might I just say as well, 37. Oh. Episode 37. <clears throat> the Garden Party. garden party. One of the carnival's top events. It had been held as part of the carnival for decades and was very much where those who considered themselves to be great and good gathered to generally discuss with each other frivolities of the day. It was not one of the great highlights in terms of being a spectacle. It was not, for example, the attempt to become champion or ping, an archery competition, nor was it elven gymnastics or dwarf choirs or giant ogres facing off against tiny little gladiators. It was, however, some very self-important people talking to each other. It'll be great. Over the course of time, however, the carnival, as is often the case with yearly events, slowly but surely changed. At one point, this was the great part where all the horses were trooped out for the graft to look over. Fair what I say, but that became a separate event that took place down in the park. At one point, midden ball was played inside the main palace grounds, but that got moved down to the Bernabeu Stadium. Indeed, much of what has become the carnival started off as part of the garden party and moved off elsewhere. <coughs> this year, however, as the Jaegers pass by a placard advertising everything that's going to be going on during the upcoming party, they have clearly somewhat made an effort. They have tried to impress the somewhat depressed Graf. It's well known that the Graf has not been himself for some time. The city is awash with rumours of basically he's in mourning. This party appears to have been designed to try and at least to a degree tackle this. For example, at three o'clock, Middenball in the palace grounds. Partly a local team called the Palace Towers are going against the Freiburg Eagles. A great match that'll partly be held somewhere in the Palace Grounds. Of course, there is a competition by the maze, the Wolf Labyrinth, the Wolf Labyrinth. That starts the very second anyone arrives. The great dinner itself starts at six in the evening. It's currently just coming up to the second bell. Everyone's slowly but surely coming in at two o'clock in the afternoon. Also, it notes that the gardens, the royal gardens, are open. Now, what that means has been debated at length in the queue. Aren't we going to the Royal Gardens? Isn't this what we're here for anyway? What's going on? Say the various hubbubby voices around you. 
Good old hubbubby voices. Hi, I'm Mr. Hubbub. <laughs> Sorry, more hubbub. Hair hubbub. Um, and hair hubbub. And frau light hubbub. And frau hubbub. <clears throat> are hubbubbing away because this is an unexpected quantity. And apparently it matters because as you make your way up towards the front of the queue where tickets are being checked, they are checking for something. And as you get closer, certain pricky, pricked ears and certain blind priests begin to hear what they're looking for. Gold calligraphy on the invitation. Those with gold go into the palace grounds. Those without are moved over towards the royal <coughs> gardens. For what reason? It's uncertain. Who's got the ticket? Do we not have one each? Uh, no, you've got a ticket. Who's most trustworthy? It's me. I've got the ticket. <laughs> Marvellous. Who's um, got the highest initiative and therefore snatched it first. Yeah. Yeah. That also seems fair. Yeah. Do you want to check your ticket? Yes. At the bottom, by royal invitation, in gold calligraphy. Oh, sweet. Ooh. Nice. I have a gold one. Is that good? They've got a golden ticket. <laughs> got a golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have a golden ticket. Um, and whatever that means is is to be seen. As you note, almost everybody who's making their way through the queue are moving off down towards the right and making their way through at the once they pass the main gates, the great gates, um, off to the right hand side, pass a big huge tower. They're all mad. A couple of them are moving off in the opposite direction over towards the left and into the main palace grounds. You are yet to pass through the gate itself. The gate is exceedingly impressive, but one would expect nothing less given that this is the royal residence of the Tombrakes. They are the local rulers. They are sovereign. And as everyone knows, the Graf can literally do anything he wants. Unless, of course, the Hellstein say he can. And then it gets a little bitty. Yeah. <laughs> Two enormous carved wolves stand to either side of the gate, rampant like so, and at the top of it, three running wolves. One, two, three. Now, the carved ones are at least, I'd say about seven birdies tall. Oh, wow. They're big. And the ones that are running across, they're about a birdie in length each. <laughs> this is clearly I'm your place. The, <laughs> the, unit of measurement. the new unit of measurement is the birdie. Um, and it's clearly a birdie in length, a good six, seven birdies in height. The walls themselves add another two or three birdies atop. Impressive. What's also impressive is the number <coughs> of Knights Panther that are here. There's obviously a lot inside the city. The Grand Master apparently is in residence here, and you are aware that the Elector Count has a bodyguard of Knights Panther. The city is large, of that there's no doubt, but just how many Knights Panther are there? It's a Big order, they've got chapter houses across the empire. But in just the time that you're in the queue, you count at least 50. Ooh. Mm. Which is a huge chunk of Knight's Panther. Mm -hmm. Each of them with panther pelts across their shoulders, sometimes held as half cloaks hanging down behind them. Their armor generally a lacquered dark blue with golden trimmings everywhere. And each and every one of them to try and give us some sort of context, consider if you can what you think at the back of your head goes, oh, that's expensive. Just think of something that makes you go, oh, that's expensive. That's exactly the result you get mm. when you look at these Knights Panther. It's quite different to say the Reichsguard. The Reichsguard have functional armor. It's not cheap. It's, it's expensive armor. But there's a significant difference between an expensive car and what they're driving. <laughs> Their armor is Top end. Pick your car of choice if it's cars you go for. Alan NYC see any that she recognises from her recent arrest slash wandering through And that is um something else which is I think quite fascinating. No. Yeah. Meaning that none of these because they're humans. <laughs> well, well, quite they're all the same. Um, <laughs> but I take it took a note of all of their helmets <clears throat> because that's yeah, <laughs> exactly. recognisable. Yeah. Yes. That's what I was gonna ask yeah. if the what was it, a dragon? The one that uh Torlikhelm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. before the, so she before doesn't end. recognize any of them. No, she does not. Um, well, meaning again, um, none will, of these. Well, the party are asking questions before we go in. Um, what's the protocol for jewels in here? 
because it seems oh, to be any time that there's all these folk gathered around, I get challenged to a duel. Oh, oh right. Oh, I thought you meant... Oh, ju- oh, jewels. No. Right. Oh. No, I think that the first protocol is wear as many as you can. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know, actually. Uh, Lower you know. Midnight. I'll, I'll I mean, go. yeah, but it's only I think we've got ten advances. So, so one success. One success. One success, but no successes. I have zero successes. Okay, so, so you've heard that there's been multiple yeah. duels between various nobles, and they're <laughs> always to the death. She won one yesterday. Um, and, yeah, yeah they're, to, they're they're to the death. <laughs> um, they tend to be. Uh, they tend. They're not like Reichlander duels in the south, mm. where it's basically for honor, um, and it's all about getting satisfaction. To show that your opponent is lesser than you. Horses. Here, if it goes to formal duel, it's death. Yeah. That's it. You're done. Which means that there's actually significantly fewer duels <laughs> up in <laughs> uh, <laughs> But they do occur, and it tends yeah. to be when one house has really, really, really bugged another house, and they do a call out. Yeah. Um, duels do not need to be accepted, but if you don't, you are considered to be crazy. Yeah. Craven for the day. <laughs> Craven <laughs> for the day. I took, just, I took the liberty just of bringing a hat. Try to, be, try to be polite. I'm always polite. <laughs> try to be more polite than that. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> Maybe don't speak then. No, they it'll be very... fine. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I know of these people, they're very direct and in your face. Well, but, Birdie just said they don't have to be accepted, so... Yeah, no, you'll but be fine. But you would be considered craven, so you know, that's on and, you. And Elric's wearing his uniform, right? Mm-hmm. So they, they know what they're getting mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. if they do challenge you. So oh, yeah, just light him up. It's fair mm-hmm. that bright wizards are known for their hot tempers. They're known for them. Mm-hmm. Um, they're known for uh, both rising fast and dropping fast. Um, they're known for getting easily upset about things, um, but they're also known for getting over it pretty quickly. They're like fires. They burn out relatively swiftly. Um, so, yeah, everybody knows that sometimes a bright wizard will almost certainly do something hot-headed. It's not entirely unexpected. You're such a cliche. <laughs> um, uh, which gives you a certain amount of leeway. A certain amount of freedom, unless, of course, you're speaking to unexpected royal hawk hunters um, <laughs> down beside... Uh, with important with holy shrines. beef against bright wizards. Right, well, yeah, exactly. Who yeah, really like, doesn't like bright wizards? <laughs> yeah, quite. Uh, so we're in the queue. We're making our way forward, and at the front of the queue there are five knights panther, all of whom have got their helmets off. The knights panther are one of those, and like most of the knightly orders, that only accept nobles. So every single last one of their order is a noble, probably of relatively low rank. Because most of the, you say that, but the Knights Panther are the richest yeah. order in the Empire. Mm. You know, even the, even the least important noble that gets into the Knights Panther becomes someone of import. And the Tugendhams are closely associated with the Knights Panther, I've heard. From. Yes, you And they're not that. an insignificant family. They are not. You might be a low rank family. in the Tugendham family, but yes. you're still of House Tugendham. Absolutely. Um, as uh, sitting at the front is a gentleman with his gauntlets off um, who has uh, sit down behind a small table um, and to the side there's two servants wearing the livery of the Knight's Panther but they are clearly men at arms or some equivalent um, rather than... Alamenway is going to give the, like, subtly give the invitation to Birdie. Sounds good. Okay, I... Yeah. As the, <laughs> as, so as you put pocket it in her direction, um, yeah, yeah, I, do, I don't have <laughs> quite um, as uh, the one uh, one just before you is uh, shows the invitation and he goes right says you need to hike your way down path over there and then go further right and and no, I I am I am pretty well we go, we're going through that but but we have do what you're told. As the Knight's Panther who's sitting down looks up and says, Ah, Baron, yes, frightfully sorry, you don't have the correct invitation. You need to go to the gardens. Well, I'm, I have some matters that I need to bring up the Duke, he says. Hmm. Well, perhaps that's why you're going to the gardens. <laughs> <sighs> <clears throat> of course, of course I am. <laughs> My lady, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> and the pair will go off. 
All right. Imitation. This your party? Yes. <laughs> right. Curtsy. Looks over. <laughs> uh, I'll give it hell. Looks at it. Oh, right. Uh, and guests. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> that is stretching the word guests a little, I think. It says, I'm. Um. <clears throat> so. And you hear, oh, no, no, we really don't have time. It looks over. Well, this is an assortment. <laughs> it says, Everyone smiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, I was uh, drinking juice. <laughs> 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 Looks round. Right. Um, well, what's the problem? Um, it says I'm guest. Not normally two. Looks around. Well, this is an assortment. Mm. Do you know who issued the invitation? Um, I can't read it. It's been. Well, no, this came from the courtiers. It says, um, put them aside. I'll go see if I can find out. Yes, I'll go see if I can find out. And uh, he whistles. And one of the miners <clears> comes up and he says, Go fetch one of the courtiers, please. He says, I have an inquiry about this particular invitation. And he says, You got an inquiry about invitation? Right. He says, You want me to go to one of the. Uh, you, you heard me. You don't need to repeat it every single time. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just checking that I understand exactly what you're saying. I wouldn't like <laughs> to get into trouble again. He says, just making sure now. I'm not going to have any of your ridiculous. <laughs> just go. If it happens. Um, then he says, oh, uh, uh, we'll be with you very soon. If you can just uh, move off towards the side, take on the next. Uh, we can't let the queue's bed uh, building uh, up. Excuse me. If it helps, it was issued by Kirsten Young. Ah, oh, no. Actually, that does help. <laughs> um, he whistles. Um, uh, eh? He says, it was issued by Kirsten Young. Right, so let me just double check that. You want me to go, <laughs> just but <punch>, go! <laughs> right, <coughs> Kirsten Young goes off. As um, the knight by the desk ignores it all. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? All the other people who are making their way through. <laughs> but how many of them have gold invitations? So far, none. <laughs> it appears that very few are getting the gold invitation as. A small delegate of Shallions move in through the gold route. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your party. Okay, they're not worth it. <laughs> As they make their way through. Shower of Shallions. A carriage comes up, drives past the entire queue, heraldry on the side of a skeleton with a scythe. By a tower. More heraldry. More heraldry okay. will go. If you've got Lower Middenheim, this test is easy. And it's Great. a Lower Middenheim test. Heraldry, otherwise, um, if you're from Middenland, it's a standard test. If not, it requires four successes. I can't even get that. So you so can't even get it. You're Whoa. not a local. <laughs> same, same from, yeah. yeah, you've got Ten. Lower Middenheim, though. Oh, yeah. So you can do it with Lower Middenheim, and it's an easy Ten. test. Zero successes. Ten successes and a crit. Sweet. You critted, which yes. means that when you nice. crit, just make sure we know um, crits allow you to get more successes in our advanced test. It's good because it's I only have five advances in Lower Heraldry. <laughs> so. It just happens to be the one you've heard of. Yeah. This is one of the uh, lesser Hellsteins. Um, uh, they uh, were they were noted since you critted you heard about them. They were noted during the Nordland Wars for sacking Stark, which was just across the border, and starting the war because they got very annoyed with let's say the general incompetence, as they put it, of the Toddbringers. The previous duke was just basically doing nothing, so they started a war, which Boris Toddbringer finished. By conquering Nordland. At least that's what you heard. Nordland is now ruled by Middenheim, that much is certain. Indeed, the princess, Princess Katerina, even holds the town of the Princess of Salzenden. Claim that is hotly contested by the Prince of Salzenden. <laughs> <clears throat> but Nordland was conquered. At least, so you heard. They just go by, clop, 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 stop, as the Knights Panther's there, 
and um, a single glove comes out holding an invitation, and then, yeah, they just push by. <laughs> <coughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Kirsten Young arrives. <clears throat> ah, hello. She nervously fidgets at her blonde hair and goes up to the right to pamper and says, Ah, yes, um, sorry, this one was hastily organised at last minute. Um, this is meant to be for everyone. Does the graph know? Mm. It's an invitation, and I do believe that it is in gold, so they can get access, can't they? Sergeant. I'm not Sergeant. She says, I really do get confused about your ranks. She says, I get confused about all the processes, actually. I can't just have you inviting anyone you want. Look at them. You two can hear them. They're a rabble. Yeah. We're in all good gear. <laughs> <says. laughs> Cheeky. Good gear. Um, I did. <laughs> you stand behind the tall people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, they were exceedingly helpful in saving the life of my fiancé. So there is a choice. You can let them in, or I can talk to the graph. And he's not in a very good mood today. He looks over at you all. Who are they? Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> he says, right, so they are, and she puts her hand up and she sees you go. <laughs> no, no, I, I was going to say okay, something good. to Gerhard. Mm. Go for it. Um, just so you know, um, the doctor thing. Yes? Um, I've written that letter, but I found out yesterday that Heinrich Todbrenner himself went to university to study medicine to find a cure for his brother. So it's not as though they haven't invested a lot already. So just don't go and expect to be healing him straight away. Don't build up any false hope. I think no, you're a talented genius. You may just come up with something that someone else doesn't, but but you can't <laughs> let them think that straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, I didn't under, under promise over deliver. Yes. I didn't really hear anything past the genius statement. <laughs> the honest, but, um, I think I understand what you're saying. You might like... need you might need to show the letter. What? You might need to show the letter now. Uh, the, the... If they ask us who we are. Oh right, fine. You might need to yeah, okay, you're right. Uh, look, um, I vouch for them personally. She says, personally. They are people of some means, and she pauses and says, erudition of the entertainment. I mean, if they're entertainment, they might actually go down quite well, because obviously most of them are out in the main gardens, but the palace gardens, I mean, we're going to have Rolanda at some point, assuming he can bother us to turn up. But beyond that, no, they're not. You're really putting me in a bind here. She says, no, and that was last year. <laughs> All right, point taken, they can come in. <laughs> that, that was, that was not what, no. She says, I have no idea what you're meaning. She says, why are you flustered? Right. <clears throat> um, she goes, mm. <clears throat> be on your best behavior. <clears throat> Good day. <laughs> Curtsy. Oh, no. <laughs> Some one. Do the most elaborate bow I've ever done so you can see right down my top. <laughs> Perform modelry. <laughs> Perform modelry. Why not do a test? Because that's what tests are for, right? Oh, a crit. Oh no, that's a seven. <laughs> it's a seven. I thought it was a one. Um, my one, God. Two, three successes. Three successes? Nice. Uh, you sure not be entertained? <laughs> <clears throat> As um, she gestures you in and says, right, do you have a plan as to what you're intending to do? Absolutely not. We, we do. We have a letter for... Well, uh, oh, yes, we um, offer, you know, healing services potentially. 
I uh, would be careful with that. It's right. a sore point. Well, hopefully we can fix that as part of the. Uh... <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> right. No. No. Fair enough. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll behave. Um, I let the princess know that I was with a doctor a couple of days ago when I met her, and she seemed well. You hear in the distance. I am. Oh. I see. Um, and then a, mm. a hubbub over in there. Um, uh, suddenly a wailing and a shaman shouting, No! Oh, shit. Shit, I shouldn't have left him. Um, right, you need to go and join the queue because you need to be presented to the craft. Right. Okay. okay. Says, right. Don't say anything to him. Once you've been presented to the craft, you get into the main party. Um, it's just going past, just bow carefully, <laughs> not too enthusiastically. He won't say anything to you. He's not in a good mood. I'm um, guessing just before you go, what, uh, what will we be presented as? Uh, whatever you give to the Herald. Right. So he can, the sanctuary, Jungfrau. Uh, you will not be claiming sanctuary. You're just getting presented to the graph. Yes. You just no, pass no, no, no. through. It's okay. I'm not doing that. Don't worry about it. Good, okay. <clears throat> um, there's some screaming in the distance. But you go. You um, as someone that gets <clears throat> dragged off um, past you. Um, it looks like a noble. <laughs> Um, anyone with lore, uh, Middenheim. Is it a detail I'm going to pick up with my lack of eyes? What's no. their haircut like? Zero successes. I've Zero successes. Success. Um, you recognise that as one of the local noble households. It's not very helpful, is it? <laughs> Do they have a distinctive haircut? Um, well, it, it's certainly a bad one. Um, <laughs> as, uh, he's dragged off. <clears throat> As um, you join a small queue of nobles who are waiting to be presented to, you can see him up ahead, the Graf. He's sitting on a low throne. To one side, Princess Katerina is sitting very prim, back straight. There's a total of 40 Knights Panther behind them. And the Graf is down, hand on his head, and as people are going by the Herald, calling out names, and he's like, yeah. As then a name calls out. <clears throat> Baron Gottfried of House Helstein. <clears throat> Take him away, don't want him. And you hear, my father said that I could come today. Fuck him. Fuck all your family. Whoa. His face goes red. Someone comes up, taps on the shoulder, whispers something in his ear. He bows and he says, Clearly, Highness, you are <clears throat> in the right of this. He makes his way off, his face falls. He walks past where you are. You may uh, post Elric's sleeve <clears throat> frantically because I haven't thought of a surname. Do you know any like just just pick one of us and say such and such and party. Okay, cool. Good. I was gonna say just mm -hmm. shoe me. <laughs> the the wizard. Name. They like wizards in Middle Earth. You may shoe me. Magister Elric and Party. Yeah. As um noble ahead. <clears throat> Lord Terence of House Leibowitz. And um, he looks up and goes, Ah, um, 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 he says, uh, yeah. As in front, um, a small, rather weedly man comes forward and says, Do move on, do move on. <laughs> move on. And just move on. Okay. As you arrive, Harold, who's uh, sitting there with a slate, looks up and says, And who am I addressing? Uh, Magister El Elric yeah. Grunfeld and Party. No, actually, not true. Wizard. Wizard. Yeah, Wizard. Yes. Oh, yeah. Correct. Get his title. Yeah. You know that, obviously. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Not a mistake you would make it. <laughs> Grand Majesty. <laughs> Supreme Patriarch. Jesus. Um as he uh was it? Um so that gives you and looks at everyone else. I'm sorry, but the father outranks you. Okay. Um, he says, looking at you, you would be of the order of the... Silver Flame. He's got his fancy Silver Flame cloak. Silver Ooh, okay. Flame. You will need to be... Uh, can I have your name, please? Father Leopold. Father Leopold. And are any of these yours? Uh, well, they're all my party, yes. Mm. Yet you are separate. No, we travel together. We did not realize that the father outranked the wizard. As it is our behind it. <clears throat> You will be attended to in a moment, my lord. Matters of protocol must be resolved first. Mm. And looks at you. Looks at you. Mm. Looks, looks at you. Looks at you. Nice to smile. <laughs> ah. This is most irregular. Father Leopold. Of the order of the Silver Flame. Silver Flame. Let me just write that down so he doesn't get it wrong. That's going to go down marvelously. <laughs> Why is going to fall forward? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I'm actually a princess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not like us all. Yeah. <clears throat> I hide, hide behind you. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. As um, you are shuffled past. And he writes down something, passes it over. <clears throat> Ahead of you, hang him. <laughs> <laughs> Ahead of you comes a call. <clears throat> Father Leopold of the Order of the Silver Flame and his party, attended by Wizard Elric Grumfeld. That's what it says. So come forward. Mm. Doesn't even look up. <laughs> that was the tensest moment that we've had in all the years we've all put together so far. Cheers, Boris. Moto. Dance, big man. <laughs> oh, no, wait. <laughs> it's fair to say, Boris Toddbringer doesn't look like he's in the best of moods. Um, he is a man who's clearly in his later middle years. There's quite a lot of grey running through his dark... Uh, it wouldn't be correct to say auburn. It wouldn't be correct to say dark brown either. It sort of sits somewhere in between. There's definitely a glint of copper and the flickering lights that are sitting to either side. Lady Katerina doesn't even look up um, from the stitching that she's currently doing. The Whoever the slightly sniveling looking fellow is who's watching affairs sees you go by, looks at the graph, sees the nod, looks at you all and just gives a gentle oh dear just we're not hesitating <laughs> just do a quick click of the um the, the pendant which has Dagmar's picture in and there is no obvious Dagmar alike here you, okay. um, you did sorry you do realise his face is different he's not gonna look like <laughs> yeah. the picture I don't know why we you keep had looking that conversation at it multiple times. you never know um, but, and, but also the, you've seen it before you probably don't need to look at um, it like every 20 seconds listen it could help. Yeah. And it could change. Yeah. Um, it, it, it also could be really unsubtle. Um, can I ask just the 40 or so knights at the back, do yes. I recognise any of them? I'm looking for Bebop in particular. Over there. Uh, yes, Bebop. sitting behind. Bebop. Yeah. Um, sitting beside, um, behind, pardon me, is indeed B, B, O, and M. Beastman, Beastman, Ogre, Minotaur. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Beastman, Beastman, Ogre, Minotaur. They're a little unit, so I just refer to them collectively as Bebo. It's easier. How very human of you. I like it. Thank you. <clears throat> they are sitting to alert behind the princess, who is currently here. She looks up, looks over at the incoming ones and goes, <sighs> and goes back to her. So she doesn't so spot our men or what? Nope, doesn't even look at her. That's nice. <clears throat> <laughs> and we're inside. What lies before us? Number one, apparently the great and the good eat well because there is entire tables full of food <laughs> and servants. <laughs> <laughs> All manner of 
cooking staff, including a host of halflings over at one side. You know a fair bit about halfling food because you were served it for a significant portion of your life. You had indeed a halfling chief or chef, as they were referred to themselves as chiefs. You had a lot of chefs from Bretonia as well. And uh, you pretty much grew up on the stuff. It's one of the reasons why getting one aboard the barge was so marvelously wonderful. They're over there too, swirling up one big gigantic hot pot worth of food um, and a whole host of small scrumptions. That's what your old chef used to refer to them as, scrumptions. Mm. Got myself some scrumptions. Right, well I dally my way over there. <laughs> Can we just take a moment? There's an awful lot of butter there. I wonder what they were doing with that. Can we just take a moment? If we, if we get ourselves some food, that might be give us a cover for standing around talking. Well, yeah, let's Pinkies Next. Out. What would you recommend? Two plates. Two <laughs> plates. <laughs> two plates. Okay. As Gerhardt, two plates, food stuff, makes his way over in that direction um, without any way to hold a goblet or a drink or anything. Oh, two plates no. in one arm. Ah, ah, ah. This ain't my Practiced. first rodeo. <laughs> Practiced. This isn't your first all you can eat food. The number who are here is actually quite low. We've got a hit list. Yeah, we do. Quite low. Um, in total, gathering around, currently milling, are about 50 folk. Falling already into various groups, your group of six makes up a significant number of the actual people who are currently here. But we are right here at the beginning of the day. Interestingly, one part of this is a dwarf delegation. Um, I use the word delegation because they look pretty much like they care little about the food. What they do seem to care about is folding their arms and tapping their feet with a certain amount of impatience. How did they get in without screaming at the graph about the text? <laughs> we'll find out, I'm sure. <laughs> because there's protocol. Mm. And dwarves follow protocol. Okay. They know when is the right time in the right place. And they're also exceedingly patient. Mm. Look at just how patient they are. <laughs> hey. Foot tapping. <laughs> patient is not the same as subtle. That yeah, <laughs> is correct. <Yeah. laughs> and they are that. They're not bearing any markings that Birdie or Elk would recognise any of the clan markings. None of them are bearing the clan markings that Dara wore. Um, so the answer the to that would ones, be, yeah, yeah no. And, and I assume the other clan that we met wouldn't have made it this far north. No, uh, that seems all, exceedingly all. unlikely, yeah. yes. They were reclaiming the tower. And... Yeah. Servants are wending their way through with uh, <coughs> pitchers and steins. Grab. Get up. Thank you. Are we on our chaffin fest? I was wondering whether this was a commemorative stein as well. <laughs> it is it not. It is if you take it. <laughs> <laughs> All steins are commemorative steins if you take them. That's fair. Put it in your breastplate, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing other than getting the best food known to man uh, we, we wanted to kind of divvy up the people right and mm -hmm. kind of discuss what we're going to do so I think yeah. have a look around see if we can recognize yeah, of particular them. interest what was there the law lords how would you recognize them well they've got like Lollard clothes on. <laughs> okay, no, look, this is not nice. Three of them wearing very similar uniforms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Lollard clothes. Yes. Yeah, they've yeah, always yeah, got, yeah, they've always got white wigs. Wait, 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 there's a banner over there that says Lollard's <laughs> assembly <laughs> points. They're the Midden Marshals. They'll be the same. They'll have big hats. They'll have big hats. Yeah. Magic swords. swords. Probably moustaches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Magic swords. Okay, you're, 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 you've, you've got it. Well, you now, understand the it. The ladies at court, they're ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're not the mini marshals or the <laughs> They're the ladies, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the way the way we do these things, right? Come in, come in, come in. Hold on, hold on. So the way you do these things is um, you look like you don't care, right? But also you sort of care of who people are. So it's actually, it's quite relatively straightforward to ask people who they are and what they do kind of thing. And then when they say something that they look to see mildly amusing, you laugh loudly and say, how droll, okay? <laughs> So laugh loudly, how droll. Should we practice? <laughs> how how droll. droll. Perfect, excellent. Good, good, good. Um, so there's that. Um, but ultimately, you know, comment on very passing things. And then occasionally, when things seem to be a little bit okay, then you can get a little bit more in depth. But we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. The thing is, is right now, 
So you know how I sort of collected all of you, and the reason why we're all together is because of me. Um, yeah. It's like that. So you all have something that's quite interesting about yourself. Should we go in pairs? Because Probably. I am used to um, interacting with the nobility of the empire. Okay. As are you. Yes. Um, others, not so much. You are. I usually was forced to stand around and be quiet, but I, I've heard a lot of this, those conversations. So. Okay. Out of character, who's got etiquette nobles? Like, those people should be in pairs. <laughs> Wise. So, so I think that us three... No, well, wait, Uber? stop. You only get to use etiquette nobles if you're dressed as a noble. I'm dressed as a noble. You are not dressed as a noble. I'm not a Middenheim noble. <laughs> you are not dressed as a noble. Oh. No, it's too, too oh, you're winning me round here. You might be dressed as a noble yeah. for a Talibimer, which you're and, not. And it's a party. Ooh. Like, it's a summer party, so yeah, I've worn you're, a you're, southern you're, dress. Yeah, yeah you're, you're sort of winning me round, kind of, but no. Um, <laughs> are you dressed as a noble? So, yes. <laughs> now. I know okay, I'm, I'm really, really interested to hear his justification here. <clears throat> so, give it to me. Here's the thing, right? Oh, here's the whole thing. <laughs> whole, the whole stick of this is I will be... Well, I don't, I don't necessarily... There's a shtick. You, you'll see, right? You'll see, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're so going to see. We're going to see what happens. Okay, it'll come out in conversation, I promise. Oh. So, right, fine. Just just because I have to explain this, but I'll do it in character. So so my intention is to be Gerhard of House uh, Shadow of House, okay? Right, so so my doctorate still says my name. That's fine, so close that down so I can still present myself that way. It's an area that I know. It's still war-torn, so I look like shit. And that's fine. But when you start engaging with people, they'll understand that I am actually kind of a big deal as far as nobility goes. Well, actually, they won't actually have any idea because it's Southland. But, you know, if you ham it up a bit, they'll sort of go, oh, this guy is uh, the... the, this, the... No, I'll tell you what they'll do. Right. Fucking Southern Wanka. Well, it's... <laughs> what the hell was <laughs> that? It's my best Middenheim accent. Did I nail it? No, no. <laughs> I mean, you were somewhere to the east of Avalon, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah. but they significantly to the yeah. east of Avaland. Like a whole separate <laughs> subcontinent. <laughs> to the southeast of Avaland. It's better than it was. You know, I've you, been trying. You are, yeah, I'm, I'm very fine. good at accents. We'll we'll figure out. <laughs> 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 but, but, I, I have a question, Andy. Yes. The dress that I purchased in Bergenhafen. Yes. Which was an exchange specifically for this kind of occasion. Yes. Is it appropriate for this no. kind of gathering? Um, it's a southern dress. It would be appropriate if you're in the south. Oh. Up here, you'd be seen as a southerner. So it wouldn't be inappropriate, but it would definitely not mark you out as coming from around here. Well, you're I don't come from around here. You're still noble. That's, right. yeah. that's, that's part of the but, but But is it noble? It's, it's certainly nice. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's fine. I'll it's just... talking um, point. I'll yeah. just... Um, oh, it's noble and mine's not. Because nobody can see my bosoms. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, because you're an elf. I'm still a fancy dress. You're not dressed as an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go with Elric and pretend to be a really tall Talibut. <laughs> right, that works. I don't, don't want to hear your accents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the rest of us really do. It's probably best I do not do that. Um, so, um, and I'm probably like middle class at the Yeah, uh, yeah middle class, much as um, Gerhardt appears. Are there any <laughs> not Ruinous powers, cultists, all right, like for instance, the groups of the Shalians and so on. Oh, oh cultists, cultists. cultists. Yes. All right, yes, um, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we said the C word, not yeah. the painters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the painters. Yeah, yeah. cultists. Um, or the uh, milliners. They, even the Shalians aren't here. Oh. Um, they've uh, clearly moved on to wherever it else. At the moment, there is just milling nobles. These are all nobles, Good and nobles. it's fair to say that two groups stand out like sore thumbs. One group is dwarves, the other group is you. Um. Can can I also just keep an eye out for? <laughs> oh, that's just a reference to the start of the stream. If you missed it, but that was a definite thumbs up. From her heart. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck out like a sore thumb there. Shit. <laughs> One more. Oh. <laughs> I'm genuinely pretty fucked off at that. <laughs> Oh, I'm laughing for weeks about that oh, one. You, um, you've made Hawk stay. She's very happy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Car carry on. That's okay. Um, I was going to ask, uh, you may going to keep an eye out for the people we met at Castor Lieberung's place mm -hmm. so so that we see them before they see us. That sounds really good. Um, because, yeah, they sounded like they might be noble-ish. Dagmar likes pretty girls, doesn't he? Yeah. 
I'm sure there's plenty of lecherous men around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll work my way through them one by one. <laughs> um, do, uh, well, yes, but you, you, when uh, yeah, how do I put this politely? Don't put it politely. Just get out. Okay, of my uh, way. you're a you're a woman. You, you, if that if that makes sense. I'm, I'm 19. <laughs> right, oh, well, you're a woman. Yeah. <laughs> mm, all right, maybe. Hey, I'm a challenge to anyone. Look at my height. Well, exactly. That's it. I, 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 <laughs> that's exactly what Gerhard is saying. Mm. He perhaps he, if a person who likes pretty girls doesn't like a challenge. Yes. They like someone more pliable. I can be pliable. Okay. All right. I'm bendy. But actually, that in and of itself may be more used in identifying. Mm. If it's someone who looks like he should be attracted to her, but isn't, seems more intimidating. Most of these northerners will fall over themselves at someone oh, who they looks will. like over yes. their Okay. So we find someone who looks like he should be matching over Birdie, but isn't. <laughs> Could be our man. Could be Petra. <laughs> so, so either uh, he's going to be really Petra. attracted to Birdie or not attracted to Birdie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of those two yes, must uh, be yes. there. <laughs> yes, Petra. Um, <clears throat> Harden is announced um, uh, oh, over at the um, uh, far side of one of the ladies at court. Uh, <clears throat> as um, she bows to the graph, you can see them off mm-hmm. the distance, um, and turns round, looks to either side, then moves off deeper into the palace grounds. Excellent. <laughs> um, well, why? Look, she knows where she's going, clearly. And we're just standing around. We're not just standing, Plus, we're eating. we also have to talk to her. Can we okay, bring fine. the food? Or does it stay here? Uh, you, you. I um, just put some in my pocket, it's fine. Does this, does this do, do you carry this round for us? Uh, oh, I was serving food. No, I, is, are there are there servants who would bring this with us as we travel through the gardens? Brought them, yeah. Uh, no, I mean sort of you know well, stuff. We can't afford them, so I'm sorry. We, we <gasps> the That's fine. <clears throat> it's good to know this is a sub rate party. It's <laughs> <Just> down. Okay, all right, fine. Just get, <clears throat> sauce, get some sausage rolls. Just, just the mashed boards. Pop <laughs> 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 full of mashed potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. I'm looking forward to later. Hold on, some cream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just edging away from that. <laughs> okay. All right, you stick with me. I'll, I'll be your noble person. Um, you may, you with the father? Yeah, I'll go with okay, the father. Okay, lovely stuff. Cultural exchange. <laughs> Out of character, I don't Duh. think we should go together. <laughs> 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 it might make sense to split up our people with theological knowledge, potentially, as well. What are you talking about? I don't have theological knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a certain type of theological knowledge. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can be direct. I'll be somewhat, you know. <laughs> oh, you but perhaps, you perhaps we should go together, yeah. like old times. <sighs> But you become so boring. You have to read my eyes. You have to tell me. You things. can feed okay, me fine. um okay. language. Spuds. Kisselite language. <clears throat> Just because you're dressed as a kisselite doesn't mean you have to be one. Yeah, but they want to pretend. Yes, but but there's Why a not there's a flaw in the do. plan, <laughs> and that is you cannot speak kisselite. But can you they? know nothing about kisla, and you may meet someone. Who has both A and B in their possession, and you do not know it? Lucas taught me all about ice peppers. A uh, voice from behind you says, uh, "The language is actually Gospadrini." Well, exactly. Who's that? Who is that? <coughs> it's Kirsten Young. Oh. Thank I you. know. I, I speak it. She won't. I see that you've um, arrived. You're not, certainly not making a spectacle of yourselves. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you said that you had a plan. Yes. This is the plan. It's in action. <laughs> So chaos. Yes, we have a number of people to speak to, and we are going to split into pairs to go and speak to them. How and who are you speaking to? How would we recognise the law lords? Well, assuming that they're here, and they're not here. No. Will well, they be here? They might be. It's difficult to tell. Okay. You recognise them by recognising them, though. They're quite recognisable, I suppose. One's quite bald, relatively young. Um, he's in his forties, so he's not that young. That's Rhino. <coughs> He's um he's pretty unassuming actually. He tends to keep to himself. Goodness knows if you'll even turn up, he probably would. He's been invited, that much is certain. Okay, good. Well, we saw Petra go that way, maybe uh, do you have time to introduce? Petra's here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh Mr. Damn it. I wanted to talk to her. She's gone that way. Could you introduce us to Emmanuel? Emmanuel? Mm-hmm. Sure. 
I mean, I could. Uh, she'll be here somewhere. She'll be escorting people around from one place to the next. She's one of the ladies at court, yes. like myself. Uh -huh. Yes. <coughs> Important dignitaries are taken from one place to the next by one of the ladies at court, mm -hmm. including myself. I'm now waiting for someone to see if anyone else needs look back over towards the graph's tent by the pavilion. Nobody there yet. We're expecting possibly the Hellsteins themselves to arrive. Which is going to be uncomfortable, but a necessary component. If we're unlucky, the Nexus will come as well. And if we're really unlucky, we'll get the Gausses. Well, did one of the Hellsteins showed up and was turned away? That doesn't surprise me. He'll turn them all away if he could, but he can't turn them all away. He has issues with them. Well, if he could turn them all away, it would just be politically unwise. But he's in a right mood today. Yes, um, so we thought we would um, approach people and ask, make chat about the tax and see if they repeat the things that your fiancé was saying. I suppose that is definitely a way to start. Yes, well that will at least <coughs> show us if anyone else has been affected by the same ensorcelment. Yeah, if I had an opportunity I'd go and speak to them myself, but I have to back over towards pavilion duties that I need to attend to. And what else can we say? Vita's clearly not going to come, which is unfortunate because he's got the graph's ear. Really unfortunate. Mm. Then we can do about that. Right, so Law Lords, um, if I spot them, I'll come back if I get an opportunity and I'll point them out to you. We but don't have like a badge of office. Right? They won't be wearing anything. Mm. There's no need to do so. They, they, this isn't right, Clint, where everyone has to boast about who they are. You tend to find that most... Uh, most of us will wear maybe a wolf's head symbol and that's it in reverence to the city or perhaps to Ulrich and little more. Everybody knows who everybody else is and if you don't know, you're not important yeah. now. I don't understand this city. Mm. Yes, Rubbish. well, mm. that's Sorry. obviously not a surprise. <laughs> Ignore um, everything he said. Okay, good. No, not everything. People are still interested because we, we stand out. <coughs> What's the last questions? Want to go to speak to the dwarves? I mean, we could. Just you as well. You might get an earful. Yeah. Who are with? Me. Sorry? Yeah, we've got an elf here. Well, we'll step away. Well, no, I'm with you, so... We also, we should work in pairs you, who you, have you reason to, to talk about the tax. Idiots. They will have seen you. Mm -hmm. You are now all part of her party, whether you wish to be or not. Mm -hmm. That is it. Oh. They are rather absolutist in terms of how they approach things. No, 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 no I understand fair, We that. already know what they're going to say. Annoyed about taxes, blah. <clears throat> if you're looking for uniforms, Ulrich... Sorry, watch Commander Filson. Um, he, he always wears his uniform. Stern man, you'll recognize him. Uh, state uniform, so recognized across the, and obviously Commander, so very easy to spot. No one else is going to have the same uh, badges, so that's uh, someone you'll be able to recognize mm -hmm. immediately if you see him. Um, R.O. Rick, if he turns up, good luck getting to him, though. They'll have his white wolves, but the chances of him turning up are very low. He doesn't get on with the graph at all. They don't like each other. There Wait. was issues during the Northern Conquest. Um, today was the last... Uh, sorry if this is a, a sensitive subject, but uh, isn't it the last day of the Graf Champion tournament? The, the, oh, it's already a, finished. Is there a winner? Or are they here? I imagine they'll be come, turning up at some point, yes. They'll need to be presented to the Graf. Because it, it might be someone we fought and we might know. Is that it's something? a possibility. <laughs> um, <coughs> they... What? Uh, archery competition is uh, concluded today as well. That will be finished in two hours, although we all know who's going to win. It'll be Alavan no. wins. <laughs> he, he has won every year for the last 15, so... Oh, right. He wasn't on uh, the list that you gave us of people who... Alavandro, the Master of the Hunt, absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. He should be if he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I know. But <laughs> she doesn't know that we know him. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just presume that wasn't said out loud. Yeah, no, yeah. it wasn't said out loud. <laughs> um, so, and when do you suggest would be the right time for um, the sanctuary to be requested? Should that be done in a written no, form? No, I'm not doing that. But then you won't. No. It's not you all suggested it. I've never said I've never said that's a good idea. But your doctor thing, it doesn't say Dr. Gerhardt, it says your full name, surely. 
Was it Samuel's full name? No, it says Dr. Garhart. Yeah. No, it just says Garhart. His full, his full name um, uh, it doesn't include his house name, which is why he's you, of a house. But isn't. if, if yeah. you want to attend his son, then you will probably need to be royalty for him to accept such a young doctor. Okay, well, that'll be fine. Noble. If that is the case, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. I think mm. prematurely saying, hello, I'm who I am, maybe, well, there'll be a bit of a kick in the teeth. And not to mention, I'm very valuable as a ransom and or prisoner. <sighs> I, I, I honestly don't know how he'll react to it. He's somewhat desperate. Stefan is not well. He was supposed to be coming down today. He okay. can't. Well, that's but exactly my point. The question still if, stands. If it comes out who you are, then the fact you are a doctor means he's less likely to ransom you because you actually if have you want, If you want to be presented, you're far better talking to Heinrich. He arrived this morning. Okay, fine. He's Thank playing you. midden ball. Um, he's off with the uh, palace okay. towers. Well, that's a good idea, given that he studied medicine. That's his son, if you didn't know. Yeah, no, 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 I know that. Is he Grand Baron as well? No. Uh, no. no, just Baron. No. No? no. no. It's only Stefan who is. Uh, yes. Okay. Heinrich is a legitimate? Heinrich is a bastard. Right. But maybe easier to speak to him? Fine. No, okay. He is very well liked by the soldier. He's, um, he's at current rank, his. Well, he's been given a regiment, so effectively he's a colonel. Well, then maybe you should go with Alric, and then you can, like, lad it up with the boys. Lads, lads, lads! We can do that. <laughs> Almost did it again. <laughs> no, I didn't know half <laughs> He says, if you're going to make jokes, then I'm, I'm leaving. Kirsten. And she turns and goes. Oh. Who made, shit. Who made a joke? It's because it's we said lads, lads, lads. Right. It's not a very good joke. Well, no, it's more of a... Don't, don't, it doesn't matter. Oh, is that the thing that I never got invited to? Uh, yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, well... No, yeah. it's fine. That's, I've, that's, I've moved on. That's what we're doing now. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> so I would suggest that speaking to Heinrich is a good idea. Yes. Well, I am presenting myself as Gerhard of House Shadow Pass for now, just so we all know. I'm, I will amend my intellectually, like, run after her and try to avoid her. Maybe don't even save your house. Come with us. She turns around and says, Guess what? I am so sorry. They are very young. I am trying to keep them in line. <laughs> keep them very quiet. My name is attached to this. And he's killed two people today. I know. He has killed them. Now, what happened to Dita is obviously unacceptable, but his mood is foul. I don't want to be involved or embroiled in any nonsense. I understand. Not today of all days. It's the first, it's his first actual state event for almost two months. Strictly four months. And he's not taking it at all well as she looks over towards the other room. Let us not speak again, so you are not entangled with us anymore. Yes, that's probably the best. We're not going to do anything stupid with them. No, I will keep them under control. She makes her way off towards the pavilion. <laughs> He's already hanged two people today. Please be more serious. She's a big party. Gahad, the graph has not been seen in public for four months. This is his first time in public. Everything in this city revolves around him, and he has hanged two people today. Nobles. Right, fine. We have to be more... Circumspect. Circumspect. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Maybe. Over in the corner, dwarves tap their feet. <laughs> <coughs> the nobles have glided in. Some have got food. Some have moved on. Others have stayed a bit. The hubbub has moved and they've moved on. Others have glided in after. You're the only party that has remained for any length of time. <laughs> Her <laughs> hubbub have gotten in. Um, <laughs> An odd little hubbub of the goons. If Heinrich is here, I do think it would be wise to speak to him, especially as we now know he studied medicine. You may be able to speak to him. From the pavilion, you hear a shout. <clears throat> Get him away! Get him away! Comes a shout, and Katerina turns around and puts her hand on her father's shoulder as someone's... 
Can we Should see anybody? Um, yeah, you can see someone looking. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Shall we Shall move eyes? on? Uh, we'll move you, on. You sense vision? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. you do have sharp eyes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nicely sharp. Um, uh, you reckon that is a merchant of some sort, definitely middle class. He looks rich. Goodness knows what um, his particular issue is with that one. Um, he is looking uh, particularly uncertain. Like he might get hanged. The Night today. Panther <laughs> are now escorting him away. Would Leopold's sharp ears have picked up the announcement of who that was? If he'd been paying attention for all the announcements, sure. Um, yeah, he'd be, definitely be. Definitely but it's just be. become hub of noise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. It's just some merchant. Mm. Right. Okay. Um, Shall we? Yeah, no. There was. Mm. Glass of something. Oh, goblet of something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, lead on. Where are you leading on to? Well, surely Leopold should lead on. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I thought we were splitting up. I don't okay. think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> fucking idea, but all right, sure. Yes, but then, <laughs> then between us, we offended our one and only ally in this city. Together, so it's probably better if it was. Could you just could you just oh. stop with the whole pushing around thing? God, you're so annoying. What is so annoying coming here with a stupid elf loudly saying this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh, and stomp storm off towards the food, and I angrily put a sausage in my mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not for the first time. <laughs> stupid elf. <laughs> as it's as fair to say there have been a few nodded heads over by the dwarven <laughs> contingent. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go for them. Yeah, slap one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? I promised Kirsten that I would try and keep them under control. Well, Willapold's there. He's got a sense of weight on his shoulders, hasn't he? Does he? Does <laughs> he's he got about ninety percent of it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just missing part of it. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How much intellect was held in those eyes? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I guess that means the leaves will be Alec. Let's go, Sumi. Let's go, Spud. <laughs> just the top part. part. <laughs> I'm really not sure I can Top do part that. of a potato. <laughs> well, not because the rest has been enough in the pocket. <laughs> can do this. It's so, down the bottom. <laughs> you two. Alec, you me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Why don't we follow where Petra went and see if we can find her? You you look pretty, go talk to her. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plan! <laughs> As um, they hike over down towards the path and move themselves deeper into the castle grounds, making their way over, unbeknownst to them, towards the great maze that lies <coughs> towards the I wanted to do the maze. Heading off in that. Meanwhile, you two, sitting over by the food, sausage in mouth, <laughs> grumpiness <laughs> at those silly elgy elves, What's your plan? Well, I'm assuming you want to go talk to the dwarfs. Yeah, and exactly. then we'll maybe try and find out where the wind ball is happening. Probably good Head idea. Find find out. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you can take it with you. No, it's fine. I've had enough. What? So, where are you heading? <laughs> to the dwarfs. The dwarfs. Over the dwarfs. towards the dwarves. Yeah. Um, tap, 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 tap. And Almenowith and Birdie. Do you want to go to the dwarves? The tall pair. Yes, let's go and be very attractive. Well, I've heard that he's almost seven foot, so people like us might catch his eye because we'd be a better match for him than other people. True, true. You are a human, that covers one taste. I am an elf, it covers yeah, another. <coughs> and between us, we are very attractive. Exactly. <laughs> let's. <clears throat> <clears throat> and you make your way over to, after a couple of chats with some of the servants. The midden ball field, which is right over towards the side beneath the walls. You have to go up a hill and then down. Because, perhaps unsurprisingly, given where it is, this place is surprisingly up and downy and up and downy. And there's big rocks jutting out at various places. And quite a few of those rocks at the top have got platforms with walls beside them. Um, almost as if they're expecting to be invaded at any moment from the top of their gigantic Although going by, the uh, fact that they are so heavily scarred suggests that these are actually for training. They have been hit quite a lot. <clears throat> you make your way over and 
various groups pass by in one direction or the other, you stand out like sore thumbs. You are so very <laughs> different to everybody else around you. You've got your Kislevite middle class gear on in the heat and you're beginning to sweat slightly <laughs> because the hat is just altogether too bloody warm for this sort of weather. Um, and you could not be cooler. If anything, it's a bit brace, bra yeah, bracing. It's a bit chill. It could be better. But, you know, you're a bright wizard. As you make your way down a hill, you can see the great maze laid down at your feet. And even from here, it's quite clear how this maze has been built. It's an enormous wolf, huge wolf, with the hedges running through. And the top of the hedges that mark out the wolf have got flowers, making the white wolf stand out clear against the green hedges. It's quite from where you are looking down on it from <laughs> above quite the view and there's a small part of you that can't immediately go if you went in that way would that get you around that way with that with that hmm hmm and you can even attempt yourself if you want an intelligence test or if you think you've got a skill that's more appropriate feel free to call it if you wish to do so mm. outdoor survival <laughs> nice try <laughs> navigation? Uh, navigation would be a much better <laughs> bet than outdoor survival <laughs> Ugh, no, I'd rather outdoor survive. I'll just take a straight intelligence. That sounds good to me. I think I'll do navigation. Actually, yeah. yeah. Navigation will do if you have it. Navigation is intelligence. Nope. Based, right? No, it's initiative. It's initiative. No. Mm -hmm. it's initiative, yeah. Uh, just zero success. You've got it. Mm. You could do that, Maze. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Down below, you hear a whistle go, <laughs> and someone runs into the maze. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a small crowd immediately clapping and coming out from the other side, someone runs out huh, 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 and uh, you hear the echoing call from <laughs> below saying, 17 minutes, 26 seconds, 39th. Oh. As they um, are recording it down below and you hear a <laughs> uh, quite as you make your way down the hill. The dwarves have their arms folded. They look up at you. What? Say the dwarves. Waiting to talk to the graph. Are you? Hi. What's it to do with you? Nothing, just I'm also really annoyed about the taxes. I'm going to assume that's what's happening. Bloody taxes! <laughs> Bloody, says, taxes. Bloody taxes. Bloody taxes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> Good support move there. Come, <laughs> I can come, speak Kazalin. It slides into the back. Bloody taxes. Bloody taxes. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As um, he says, the bloody ridiculous. Bloody he are. says, the Dominat Gazani clan and yeah. four other clans gone with them. Four That's others. put us in bad place. That us. That's our major trade route. They've taken coach house, all coach house, and more bloody coach house have gone off with them too. I'm telling you, it's just not right. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. <laughs> It's not right. It's not, it's not <laughs> right. Not proper. Mm. He says, that's you for the You'll be all the man then. <laughs> that's right. Well, I bet that's not right for you. Nope, not right. Uh, <laughs> so what does your, um, I don't know, grandfather say about that? Well, he's not in town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they've taken advantage of him not being here, to be honest. Mm. Mm. You know who's responsible? I don't. Not bloody Elgi, Rolani. Oh, really? He has bloody Duke's ear, and he's been whispering into his ear about us. We heard him talking about bloody Cult of Sigma. Oh, what was he saying about us? Didn't like bloody Cult of Sigma. And then look what happens. As long as it's, it's like, oh, bloody hell, that's exactly what happened, isn't it? Uh, it is. Bloody Elgi, bloody Elgi, bloody El. Can't trust Elgi, can't trust Elgi. You came with Elgi. <laughs> <laughs> a, a matter of circumstance, but you can see we're not with them now. Well, I think I need a charm test. <laughs> right, you are. I think that's eight successes. Yeah, that's eight successes. Mm. He nods, bloody Elgi. Even, even without advantage. That's 
So, have you made a petition against this tax then? Well, not yet. We only just arrived. But... Get the petition! One comes out, another dwarf turns around, yeah. puts his back out, and he says, You sign here! Can you... Can you... The dwarf's got his back out for you. Can you... Can you... Oh, long pass. <laughs> and he says, Guide is on, guide is. What's your name? Leopold. Father Leopold. Oh, it's a new human name. He says, How's that spelt then? Uh, L. Yeah, I will spell Leopold. <laughs> Why is that not Leopold? I don't know. Tradition. Bloody hungry. Can't even build language. <laughs> <laughs> Pass you over a quill. You can write it pretty well if you wish yeah. to do so. <laughs> he says, what about your fella? Who's this? Is he anyone of import? Um, yeah, he's a doctor. Doctor? Yeah. Doctor? Mm, there's no doctor tax yet, but there might be. You should sign the petition. I'll, I'll sign the petition. <laughs> <laughs> sign petition then, right here. And he says, he's all right, doctor. He's a doctor. Doctor. <laughs> honourable profession. Honourable profession. <laughs> umgi aren't built so well. Umgi aren't built so well. You need a good doctor of your umgi. You need a good doctor of your umgi. <laughs> As they chat between themselves. You're not wrong. <laughs> you go up the hill and it gives you a beautiful panorama of the city walls broken by towers. Down below, a massive, what looks like mausoleum style crypt at the bottom of the hill beneath it is a large midden ball field. And this is not a big stadium, quite the opposite. It's just an open field and a pavilion has been built on one side. And there's a stand where a bunch of people are sitting and the rest of them are just around and they're already playing down there. Over off towards the other side, there's a host of tents and there's the rising smell of food from down there. Clearly there's some sort of thing happening down in the hill in that direction. Where are you two hiking off to? Eleanor, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't think I can do this. What am I going to do about it? Everything I do is wrong. and Everything gets worse every time I try to do anything. What am I going to do? Nothing. We're going to breathe. Right. Just take a few breathe. deep breaths. Sometimes the best thing to do is nothing at all. So we're just going to go down there. We're going to make some conversation. Right. If anyone asks, I've spent time in the south. I'm just freshly back. My water has not been sorted. Hence the right. terrible southern go off. Right. And I'm trying to avoid getting married if anybody asks. And this is the only thing we could find for me. Yes. Because I am what? Why uh, am I not dressed like an elf? Our luggage was stolen. Our luggage was How stolen. How terrible. How tragic. Oh, that's awful. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> our luggage was stolen. So we strolled. We stro Heading down, down towards where? At the midden ball midden. field. As you make your way yeah. down towards the midden ball field. I don't know if it's to you. <laughs> luggage. <laughs> 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 you know. <clears throat> I don't feel safe in this bodice. It has no spikes. One team is in blue <laughs> and gold. They are the, quite clearly, Freiburg Eagles. Each and every last one of them has an eagle patch on them somewhere. Gold ribbons or blue ribbons on the other arms. To the other side, Freiburg Eagles. Is that right? You think so? Is the Palace Towers. Do they have really tall hats? Every single last one of the Palace Towers are actually wearing uniforms. Blue and white. They have uniform. The other team is just made up of a hodgepodge of folk who are all wearing colours mm -hmm. and patches. Palace Towers. They have a team. They look like a team. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Crunch! Mm -hmm. Nice. That looked fatal. It's not. Um, <laughs> as Mac down goes one clap in the uh, crowds as the whole team, the towers, go running forward and the others smack into them on the other side. Birdie's clapping because she was You've impressed already by figured out which one thing. is <laughs> almost certainly the bastard son. He's a full head and shoulder over the six and a half foot tall folk. I think I He's know who it is. He's huge. Is he handsome, Birdie? He's also, unlike the rest of his team, not wearing his top. How's he looking? He looks like he has possibly been on the front line of an army for a while. Uh -huh. In the fight, he's got a bunch of scars. But what's most impressive 
is when the crunch hits down and he's down his shoulders and then he just flings his hair up. <laughs> <laughs> Slow motion. Sponsored by Timothy. <laughs> you are quite certain of one thing. He's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, over at the maze. I will answer that question when they come back. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, over at the maze, the crowd is all gathered around. Um, there's a host of chairs laid out, wooden chairs. Several of the nobles are sitting down, gossiping amongst themselves, being served food and drink by servants who are passing by. There's um, a large stage set up to one side where currently there's nobody. Uh, there's uh, several timers, large. Timers covered, bedecked indeed in skulls, which are being turned over as they run out, as different people are being timed as they go in, make their way through the maze, and eventually come out on the other side. They have a total of, well, a lot of timers, and they add new ones on if they've managed to <clears throat> not come out <laughs> in time. One of them has clearly been running for a while. It's got a note on it, seven other hourglasses. One presumes they're not actually hourglasses. He can't have been in there for seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't so been I, I open for yeah. seven hours. And, and if he has been, I don't think he's ever coming back. <laughs> <laughs> he he's lives there now. gone. Uh, uh, you arrive to the gentle mulling, milling crowd um, that are currently swigging and eating. You really do stand out as someone who is quite different to everybody else. There are no wizards here at all, apparently. Could we just mill, have a chat with people? How's it, you know? How's it been Indeed, the, word, the, the correct um, thing is, can I do a gossip yeah, test? Yeah. And the answer is, if you wish to do so, yes. I'll try. I'm sure this is okay, a situation. Okay, now, are we doing individual gossip tests or are we going to basically help each other out? Help each because that means we'll if you stick together fl flub yeah. one of them, it won't make a difference because you're working together as a team. Two successes. Two successes I got three successes. There. So that, that brings up to four successes then. Because um, nice. top successes with the assist adding plus one. Um, unless, of course, you've got uh, talent that adds more when you're assisting. No. No, no, that's Lucas. Right, so <laughs> uh, he's a very good assister. Um, <laughs> it should be your brother. Anyway. <laughs> You're sitting chatting away, and there's a few things that's worth saying. Uh, the current record is sitting at 3 minutes 42 seconds. You know this because um, a gentleman looks down at you and says, Oh, there it's 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Are you by any chance a part of the Nipponese delegation? He says, I've heard about them. Of course, I've heard about them. I imagine you must be the, uh, 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 come along with one of their invitations along with them. He doesn't actually give you an opportunity to talk. Um, he is a full 3 minutes of your time, just gone, as he just basically makes lots of speculation as to who you are, doesn't give you an opportunity to confirm nor deny, and then says, oh, well, yes, I do need to go rescue my sister. <laughs> She's in a bit of trouble. And then goes over and slaps his arms around somebody, says, oh, no, I must take you away. And goes off and doesn't come back. Just leaving you going. It's a good thing you're wearing that disguise. This is a southern party. Almost the amount of time that it would take to do the... Amazing. Your disguise uh, totally worked. Rude. Um, <laughs> okay, did, did he actually go and speak to a woman or did he just like... Oh yeah, he went to okay, a woman cool. and then dragged her so off he didn't just elsewhere. Go. No, no, not at all. <laughs> he <laughs> to my sister! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Stands five meters inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and just as you're um, turning around to speak to someone else, um, the call goes out uh, from the stage as a uh, gentleman uh, wearing blue, white hair, off towards the side and flicked right up. It's quite impressive how it doesn't fall down. It's what? just sort of up. He must have put some sort of wax or fat or something in it. Almost that was pure like, white. Did you Bill Bears's, um, <clears throat> as um, he puts out his arm, he says, <laughs> "Ah, my lord, ladies and gentlemen, we have another contestant who has come forward. Thinks that he can do it in less than five minutes, and indeed has put a wager down." As you all know, every single year we do the same competition, and every single year the hedges are recut. <coughs> he says. So no one's quite sure what they'll get on the inside. And just remember, what you see from above is not what you have down below. Mm -hmm. um, and you get a slight laughter um, running through with that one. <coughs> Step <laughs> forward as um, <coughs> uh, a, a young man steps forward and says, <coughs> Hello. Hello. 
He's from Reichland. <laughs> 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 he he says, so <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, how did you know? Um, he says, <laughs> <laughs> laughter at that. He looks bemused. Elbow, um, Elric. <laughs> <laughs> he is the uh, top, absolute top merchant in his company. And he thinks that he has the eyes. The, mm, what did you say? Did you say? Uh, the nounce? He's got that, <laughs> he says, to get through this maze. So, what's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Laughter. Um, right, so, if everybody's ready, line it on up, down to the line. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> He raises the whistle and someone comes pelting out the other side. <laughs> Excuse me, we have to wait. Beep over the other side. 29 minutes and 32 seconds! <laughs> it was terrible! <laughs> As he goes, I got lost by the shh, shh. Everyone laughs. Are you ready down there? I was ready already. Beep! I wasn't ready! <laughs> As he goes scrambling off into the Maze and he calls, and again, if anyone would like to try the maze, come up and see me. I'll just be down there. <laughs> and he makes his way down. Do you think we can try it without having to talk to the obnoxious man? No, <laughs> but I don't think we can do it together either. Uh, so, do you want to do it? Yeah, just go left, always go left, always go You'll left. Be fine. <laughs> you want to try that first? And then... No, no, you go ahead, <laughs> okay. but just in when in doubt, left. Sure. <laughs> uh, the gentleman is sitting down uh, behind a small uh, desk, if you are approaching him, um, and he, he's um, looking over at the exit where they come running out. Um, looks up and he says, oh, are you looking to uh, enter, are you? It's oh, very good. And um, which one of you? You're married. Married couples are allowed to go in together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Right, he says, you get yourself a whole extra minute for that. Oh, nice. He says, uh, as tradition states, he says, uh, if we hear you, the minute's taken off. <laughs> he says, oh, I don't need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he says, you wouldn't be the first to make the joke, sir. You wouldn't oh. be the first to make the joke. <laughs> he says, um, but it said you get blessed uh, union. You'll definitely have child if you do. That's what they say, at least. <clears throat> okay. I don't know if it's true. Can't say if it's true one way or the other. Who can say? But you get to go in together. But, he says, I do recommend not doing that flouncy thing hand in hand, you know, skipping in or they won't like you at all. Right. <laughs> he says, the prizes will be handed out at uh, Seventh Bell. The uh, Grand Marshal, he'll be handing out prizes. He says, and uh, they're over there in glass cases. You want to go have a look? What are the prizes? Just from a glance. Um, looking over, one of them looks like it's uh, <coughs> do yourself a perception test. Oh. Uh, chill? Wait, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, 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 you're kind of relaxed. Chill. No, no. No, no idea. Um, uh, yeah, that Things. looks like. Uh, no, 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 that looks like a weapon. Ooh. That, that looks like a book. <laughs> <laughs> What's he missing out on? Yeah. Um, Nerd shit, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, uh, so, uh, your name? Uh, Grunfeld. So, you know, uh, and your household? No, that, that is the household. Oh, sorry, you are Grunfeld. Of Talibheim, I presume? Correct, yeah. It says, and uh, your uh, wife, what house are you? I, I took his name. Uh, your house, my dear. Grandfather. You, you, the, the, the. She had no house before. Oh, oh I see. Oh, you poor dear. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Um, uh, can I have your, uh, your name, please? Elric. Thank you. Oh, and your wife? Anya. Anya. <coughs> Very good. Oh, how come from? Marvelous. Um, you are currently. Eight in the queue. So we will call you. Um, uh, when the sixth has come, you'll hear your name being called out over by the, if you just look over there, over there, yes, 
Is he the uh, young gentleman with the funny little mop head? Yeah, yeah, he's the one who does the calling out. So listen out for him. When you hear your names, come back over here and you'll be ready, primed indeed, to um, go in. But again, <coughs> I strongly recommend don't do the handhold thing when you run in. You'll just get jeered. <coughs> Any other tips? Ah, uh, no, not at all. Um, uh, I will say, though, that the uh, generally perceived wisdom um, is prepared for. What's the generally perceived wisdom? Well, it depends upon what you read or who you listen to. Right. It says, given that you're foreign, it says, I think it's fair to say that you'll have no wisdom at hand. <laughs> and he says, that didn't come out as I intended. But I think it's probably accurate anyway. So, that being the case, just, just do whatever you want to do. It's a maze. I'm sure you'll do well. Can I burn <laughs> walls down? <laughs> yeah. Is that frowned upon? That's frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <clears throat> Maybe if you we were going last, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we'll wreck it for everybody. <laughs> Just a straight line through. <laughs> <laughs> so, you two. So, in, in answer to your question, I'd hit that. Yeah, he's very good looking by human standards. Mm. <coughs> what color? Bath crunch as he moves what straight through someone. His, his hair is very dark. Mm. So not like his dad. There's no touch of auburn. No, nope, no touch of auburn in it in the slightest, mm. and not like his half sisters, which is blonde. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no judgment here. So <clears throat> shall we mingle? Mingle? Oh, yes. Nice. Everyone's attention is largely taken up by the game. So what, what about is our this plan? game? <laughs> <laughs> Sports ball, huh? <laughs> Such athleticism. <laughs> that ludicrous display. You know last my night. people invented this game. <laughs> That'll go down well. <laughs> ah yes, we invented this game. <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just follow your lead. Hmm. So he's looking most likely then. Do yourself a gossip test. I should have said. Uh, I actually quite good at gossip. Uh, zero successes. Um, well, if I <laughs> did not be assessing you, it would have been seven successes. Mm. So. so you got? Seven successes. So that's eight successes. Yeah, mine and her. No, no, you assist each other. Whoever oh, so rolls whoever highest, takes the highest. Yeah, so oh, whoever rolls yeah. highest, um, you take that number and then mm -hmm. whoever and everyone else that succeeds adds plus one to the Excellent. end. Eight so, successes. Yeah. Yes. There you go. That's how we do assisted tests, just yeah. in case you weren't sure. Mm -hmm. Um lovely. Good job. Yes. Uh <clears throat> we're doing a very good job of pretending to be interested in this. One of the great game. joys of being um pretty attractive women is that that gets a certain amount of attention. <laughs> that sports ball doesn't necessarily provide. Mm. I'm very interested in this match. I'm very interested in this. Um, can, can we stay here for at least half an hour? Because I have the talent Gregarious. Mm -hmm. So we actually got nine successes because it gives me a boon on gossip. Mm -hmm. um, others just like chatting to you once per day, you automatically glean plus Gregarious pieces of local news whenever you spend at least half an hour in a populated location. Love in it. In addition to any other tests you may take, this is in addition to any gossip So let's tests. come back with the information that you get mm -hmm. once we've done with these two over here. <laughs> so you two over there, what's your plan? Well, I mean, we don't know that they've gone to the bitten ball. No. Nope. So, I mean, I guess we were together anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, we said, are we done? Yeah, I think so. Everything signed, everything done. You got anything else that you want to say? <laughs> don't like the look. <laughs> 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 this is not me speaking, so the dwarves don't overhear this, right? This is Ed. Is this all you want to get out of this? <laughs> I didn't particularly want to do this. Okay, fine. You, you initiated it, <laughs> yeah. and I just backed you yeah, up. No, no, no. I appreciate I, that. I guess and did you. This was very much driven by you. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> all right, back in the game. <laughs> signed a petition. You did sign a petition. Yeah. Uh, did you sign it as your real name? No, uh, Shadow Faust. Dr. Gerhardt. Yeah, you you could have just done Dr. Just well, I didn't do that. I said Channel Faust. I've got to do Channel Faust now. Commit to it. Um, <laughs> it's strictly your name's not Channel Faust. That's your house. Yeah, yeah. I'm Gerhard so, of Channel Faust. Yeah, that's yeah. better. Yeah. Um, uh, I I hear Law Lords uh, looking to sign a petition as well. You seen him? Says 
No, do you know them? No, that's why I was asking if you'd seen them so that we could ask Well, them. we'll give them a piece of our mind if you bring them over. Yeah. We'll do. We'd actually heard it was the law lords who put this in that the graph's been so distracted that actually he's not... That's because of the bloody Elgi. We actually we, we heard exactly what happened. Spoke to... um. Uh, what's his name? I don't know. It's a human name. <laughs> he says it's something like... Um, huff, 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 huff. He says, uh, so, Law Lord Hoff Hoff Hoff, he says, <laughs> Law Lord Hoff Hoff Hoff, um, he says, well, I don't know. Seems uh, likely. <laughs> uh, he and that Elgi, they're out together now, they were out drinking, and then the very next day, Bloody Law came out. It's the Bloody Elgi telling you, he's the one. <clears throat> and then off um, in the distance, you hear a prong and Hi, I'm here today. <laughs> he says, to entertain the graph. Prong! That, that as he strikes a pose, as he looks up, and he goes, BOOM! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the rest of them go, oh, stomp, 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 bloody yogi, 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 we're off to give him a piece of our mind. Good. Crump, 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 crump. And they all give a piece of mind by folding their arms and stamping their feet. <laughs> but, but defiantly not in rhythm. I'm yes. Yeah. <laughs> Completely out. As um, Rolana, who was up on one leg at this point, his other leg just tapping on the back of his head from behind. Sure. As, um, <laughs> and, uh, um, looks around, smiles, and then with a flourish continues on with his rendition of the seaman. Out of curiosity, because we've been here for quite a while, um, we don't know this, yes. but there was a person of interest further back in the queue. Mm -hmm. Has said person of interest sort of been announced? If they have, you best it. Fuck! <laughs> No, not that I know. No, you know. But I mean, how would I mean? Yeah, how did she secure an invitation? No idea. And was it a gold invitation? Don't know what you're talking she about. She might not have a golden ticket. Mm. She's not got a gold ticket. That seems. Um, <laughs> well, for dwarves, uh, I think that went quite well actually, considering yeah. historical experiences. We we were direct. Yeah. We yeah. agreed with them. That helped. <laughs> it's quite difficult to talk to dwarves, isn't it? Uh, only if you overthink it, my lord, which you are prone to do. Right. I just didn't get anything out of that, I don't think. Just you know. Well, what were you hoping to get out of it? We already knew where they stood in the taxes. Yeah, just something more. You you know, could you do like get them to do something or maybe just not really how it works. Well, that's a shame. It's fine. All right. Have you tried I mean we we've heard from them that they believe that he influenced the law and I'm not necessarily sure we can believe that, but mm. perhaps we can pass that on to Alan Benawife and she can potentially pump him for information. <laughs> Right, well, yes, Hoff, 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 Hoff is what I've written down. Yeah. So I don't know whether that's... Well, one of the words was Hoff something, Hoffic. Right, fine. So that should work. Um, should we grab a couple of potatoes and see if we can find a nun? A nun? <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this some party game I'm unaware of? You remember, you used to throw potatoes at the nuns. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you were young. Um, <laughs> meanwhile... You're chucking potatoes at nuns. <laughs> <laughs> Half of anything else, I can't see. <laughs> Even you more, <laughs> you're less likely to hit. So them. then you're not throwing them at them; you just throw <laughs> potatoes. And like, one should hit a nun. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry, sister. <laughs> Thank you. Sigma will guide you. It's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to grab two. Don't worry. We'll, we'll see if we can do something. Wizard Grumfeld and wife <laughs> comes the call. Light life. Let's go. <laughs> Um, as I uh, say, oh, you, you need no, no, to go. We're waiting. We're sick. We're second now in line. I think uh, that's right. If you go over and sit over there in their chairs, he says, then they'll be able to find you. And it's uh, your turn to come up. And you hear a whistle um, up ahead as someone goes skating off into the maze. Um, <clears throat> what do you think your chances are? You're allowed to bet on yourself if you want. Well, what's the slowest anyone's ever done? He <laughs> says, well, you tend to find there's always, you know, some bright lark who tries to do it slowest each time. There's someone um, who's been. Uh, He's been in there for an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Okay, so not that bad. <laughs> <clears throat> what a bet on yourself. No. He says, you know, do it less than five minutes. That, that's impressive. You think you can do it? Wife? We could. Sure. 
Uh, how fast can you run, love? I'm all right, I'm running. Well, you never know. He says, <clears throat> well, I can put on a, just a quick side bit if you want, if you got any money to you. Does he have any inconspicuous <laughs> crosses? <laughs> Do yourself a perception test. Oh, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> three good. successes. Yes. <gasps> Pump him for information. <laughs> Wife. <laughs> uh, then definitely, because even if I lose it. <clears throat> yeah, he says, <clears throat> you put down Mark. He says, for uh, under five, you'll double your money. <coughs> she holds my purse, so. She's the boss. Says, well, she is a wife. <laughs> oh. Um, I like, can I? Ooh. Can mm. I try and do a secret uh, sign uh, or not? You certainly can. Go for it. And what are you secret signing? Um, <laughs> don't screw me over. <laughs> <laughs> um, just like make sure that goes to the right place, sort of thing. Like, hey, you might win. Um. That might be considered the right place. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, yes. That's enough. Um, because all you're doing is communicating core information. Totally fine. Okay, so you do a little flick, and his um, his hand says one in ten. Um, it's <laughs> 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 gonna make a profit. Um, <clears throat> as you go sit down, and the one ahead is already skating off, and you're both called forward. Nice. <clears throat> And here we have, he says, all the way from the grand city, the eye of the forest, Talibheim, he says, Wizard Grumfeld and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> he says, so everyone get your ears ready and pricked because if we hear them, they have a minute taken off their time. <laughs> Laughter. <clears throat> I thought we had it added if they heard us. No, no. You've, you've got a minute added on. Mm. Like, because you're going in as a pair, you're taking a penalty. We're taking and that's a, a minute penalty. But if they hear you, they'll take off your penalty minute. That's right. They're presuming they're going in to have sex. Yes, exactly. Yes. They're presuming you're going in for the blessed ritual, well, okay, to get yourself a blessed child from the blessed it. wolf yeah. Yeah. They're, they're encouraging. Just yeah, they pretty much are, yes. Um, and then you, <laughs> if they hear you, you get your minute taken off. Yeah, quite. Yeah, and everyone goes, woo, 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 woo. Ah, 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 keep running. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's encouraging you to have sex or encouraging you to make audio porn. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm not but against. It, it, it was weird. <laughs> you may well unbutton a button and wiggle her eyebrows at the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Do your sex <laughs> <a> charm <laughs> test. Nice. If you have um, uh, perform bodily, you can use that instead. I do not have uh, a charm <laughs> test. <laughs> uh, two successes. Uh, two successes, that's barely a success because it is difficult. Cool, but um, there's a a smattering of um, applause to this as the whistle reaches up and beep. What are the pair of you doing? I'm gonna slap you may on the arse. <laughs> <laughs> if only Jiro could see us now. <laughs> and we're heading our way in. Sounds good. First thing you need to do is an intelligence test. It is, however, because there's two of you. Assisted. Assisted. Uh -huh. I'm is it intelligence or I'm shipping oh, not right navigation. Here. Nope, not navigation. First one's intelligence. And uh, just that zero success for me. So it's a success. Uh, that'll be a fail. So we have zero successes <laughs> between you. As the pair of you reach your first, your first, let's say, conundrums. Uh -huh. As it goes in a circle and it heads off in different directions, which way do we go? This way, this way. Who's going to win the argument? The answer to that will be charm test each, please. <laughs> or, or they just both go left. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was their. Yeah. Flesh Fail. Tapped. Four. <laughs> Yumi wins. Um, and you're like, yeah, fair enough. And you hike it off into the depths of the maze. Oh, that's the spot. <laughs> <laughs> You, use your thumb. <laughs> Carry me, husband. Then we can run and do it. <laughs> uh, meanwhile.
Meanwhile, back at the bandstands, not the bandstands, part of the grandstands. That's what I meant to say. Um, uh, the pair of you are chatting away, watching the match. He's the best a man can get. Um, and that's just element. <laughs> Imagine us with him. We could flick our hair and do this. <laughs> all three. You need of to us. get all your braids undone. Get them undone, quick. But you spent so long on them; they look so beautiful. They do. They look so nice. Yeah. We'll just take a few out. Okay. <clears throat> we have learned some things. Number one, mm. the uh, good head. Of the palace towers, mm -hmm. Heinrich, not of House Torbringer, <laughs> is back for two days. Two days. He has been um, elsewhere speaking on behalf of his father, um, and has so far not been granted audience with his father. You learned that one oh. from um, a, a noble who was sitting there picking away at uh, small bits of dried meat. He says, and. I don't want to be a gossip. Oh, please do. <clears throat> Foul! <laughs> but he's not even received his son. And from what we hear, there's no interest in talking to him at all. Because he was never actually sent with any permission. He just went on his own, you know. Uh -huh. He thought he could do it in Bath his father without any permission. At least mm. what I heard. Arrogant bastard. And you could believe it. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Bam! Crunch! <laughs> thump! Boof! 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 Punt! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> I do like this game. Arrogant, he says. I hope. I hope. I hope there's been hangings today. About time to clear out the line, I'd say. Whoa. Wow. <clears throat> it's quite clear Heinrich is popular. Mm. One young lady. Oh, oh, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. Isn't he really pretty? Shame he's going to get killed by his father because he's a bastard. And he just keeps on doing stupid things. <laughs> There's a lot of it about. <sighs> Looks over. It's such a shame. Mm. If only he's legitimate. You know, my father, he actually, you know, made an approach. Didn't turn out the way my father hoped. Oh, that's a shame. What happened? Oh, the letter was quite categorical. My son is not noble and never will be. You are denied. He will never marry. Mm, that's a shame. Uh, look at him. Oh, Tell me about him. What a waste. What a waste. <laughs> so just, yes, what, what a waste. A we waste. all just said that. Learn from Hard roll. Hard roll. Hard roll. <laughs> um, as um, he slams into the side of a man, lifts him bodily up into the air, and then with his other hand lifts him and pushes him aside in the air and down on the ground. As there's a, oh, and from him a, oh, as he crashes down on the ground, as he throws the ball in the air and kicks it, it goes arcing over, and he goes chasing after it. This team like a V behind him, pelting after him and all. His legs are so long, though, that he is outpacing them swiftly. I would like to see him and Alabander in the race. I'd like it's to see him in the Almost Alabaster. horrendous that the Freiburg Eagle would dare to spear him with his head right in and watch him go, ooh, <laughs> as the entire crowd goes, ooh. Um, Quite a few go, but he deserved it. Mm. <clears throat> as he goes down. Because wow. apparently he's not that popular, as mm. you hear from um, another. At least he takes right after his father. I wouldn't speak to him if I were you. <clears throat> Half the women have caught fucked him. My sister's fucked him. And she came back to him pregnant, and you know what it, he said? Just another bastard. Who cares about bastards? As everyone goes, he is the worst. <laughs> Do not go near him. Trust me. One of my brothers is his son as well. He is his father's son. Except his father. He would have kept a kneel by last wife, wouldn't he? Right. But she is dead now. <laughs> he laughs mm. as um, Heinrich is tripped over. Quit crashing down. <laughs> 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 
He's a guy. How do you feel about the taxes? <laughs> 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 Nicely done. <laughs> not everybody. Because he's mad around the eyes. It's worth checking. Not everybody hates him. Well, I heard he was super popular. <laughs> Clearly, I was misinformed. Not everybody popular hates with him. the ladies. <clears throat> Soldier, the off to the side. <clears throat> I won't heard a word. At all said wrong about him, so I don't want you saying anything. It's all spreading any of the nonsense they nobles are spreading. He's a fine commander. He's a fine man. He's the best that this householder produced, if you ask me. Are they just jealous? Aye. Just because they can't hold on to their wives and their sisters and their daughters and their mothers and their grandmothers. <laughs> <laughs> he says, <coughs> what? I like Respect. to think that he is the best that Midnight must to offer. He says, and so the ladies, I recommend that you, you know, <clears throat> having said that though, <clears throat> between you and me, because they did roll very well in their successes, he tends to take them over to barracks after, for the lads. So generous. <laughs> he is a gem. <laughs> he says. Interesting. A gem. Right. That's that rats. That's quite the picture they're painting. Regressing him, so. <clears throat> oh, you should see a picture of him. We got him over at the uh, barracks. It were commissioned by him. <laughs> right. It's grand. Was it a good likeness? Well, well, well you see, Graf got first one torn down. It's the fourth one. Graf doesn't like his face up. Because he's a Baskin? Doesn't like him, um, that sort of talk being flaunted about. He ain't noble. He shouldn't be having any airs and graces. But he's the bloody colonel, isn't he? Mm. Right. Yeah. We need to have regimental picture up, don't we? Admittingly, though, we have to get our Alster to do the last one. He's not so good. He's gone a bit blind in his eyes. But, you know, it were a bad likeness, but there ain't no one like him. He just made all the rest of the folk really small so we knew which one we're in. <laughs> <laughs> It's just Smart. stick man, stick man, stick man, bigger stick man, stick man, stick man, stick man. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <Yeah. clears throat> Not all of them hate him. Oh, I certainly don't hate him. I didn't hate him last time nor the time before either. Is he any good? I don't know what you're talking about. Mitten ball. Is this good? Oh, he's mitten ball. He's the finest player I have ever seen. As he goes down, crunches and goes <laughs> skidding across on his chin. As he gets up and roars. Two people back off from him. Um, and he laughs in their face as he stands up. <clears throat> the finest. I hear, though, he's only a shadow of his father. When he was in his prime. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's anybody who's got a basis for comparison. Well, my mother, actually. <laughs> um, and she told me all about it. And effectively, what you find, the strangest thing is they, they sort of bend the wrong way. Oh. And they can do a thing. Like father, like son. Apparently it's a family thing. See, she heard about it from her grandmother. Just between you and me. <laughs> I can confirm though, points out, when she it looks bends up, the wrong way. When she, when she looks away, Alamena, 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 that's really hard to say, will mouth, Lucas, <laughs> Purdy, we should check. <laughs> Does he oh, hug them? <laughs> Does he hug the family <laughs> horn? <laughs> As, it's the only way we can be sure. I'm true. It's, this is true. <laughs> the only way. I'm thinking mutation personally. <laughs> um, and it's what it's what that allows them to do. Mm. But I can only say between you and me, first hand experience is the only thing that really counts. And he's mine tonight. I'm gonna make sure of it. Mm. Good says, luck. As he slams into someone, goes down to the ground, tackled as he rolls off. Oh, you bloody bastard! He calls as they run off. As you arrive at the top of the hill, 
And down below, you can see the great match of midden ball being played. You can see the maze over towards one side. You can see down at the bottom, a whole host of tents spread out and this rising smells of freshly cooked food, which mm. seems far more rustic than the far more prepared food that you were getting over as you made your way into the main palace. Um, what's our plan? Uh, can you detect anything? Anything different? We got obviously options. Can you see that, what I'm seeing? Ah, the old <laughs> divine on top of the hill. <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> nice, nice to the left, middle straight ahead, and then sort of. I mean, I'm assuming tents. nothing is tingling his Sigmar sense. Nothing's tingling his Sigmar sense, particularly. Ding, 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 but you can always do tests if you wish to do so. Gerhard could ask you a question. He could say, Look, Just have. where are we likely to find out? I mean, but if you wish it to be a set, it has to be called out by someone if you want yeah. it to be an actual or yeah. oracular. You need to say, yeah. like, you need to ask me asking. Asking. Oh, No, you, have you to need to, because yeah. you're the one that triggers it. Yeah. But he needs to say the question, though, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he did, yes. Yeah. Um, any question, like, for example... I suppose I, I can, can ask the question myself as well, but... Yeah, no. Oracles okay. can only have questions from um, outside. Which is, I pretty sure that's what I've just done, And it's exactly what you just did, for example. And if you sure. wish it to be your right, it's pretty broad. Let's go, go for it. it. Let's go for it. Why not? Mm. I mean, you know, this is going to take me out for like potentially minutes. That's <laughs> fine. I'm going to. Yeah. It's okay. We've got you choose. Um, I'm going to so use my divine reroll now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pass. <gasps> it showed all his doctor skills. Yeah. <laughs> You're up. On top of one of the highest points. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Behind you is the palace. Could, can I just confirm? Yes. It's Andy who makes the decision. Yes, not Leopold. Uh, <laughs> yes, Andy. Yeah. Andy, Good. absolutely Andy. Not, not my fault. Wasn't my fault. <laughs> 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 yeah, that. I don't control it. Literally yeah. nothing to do with Leopold. Divine, like you were really high, so you were probably quite yeah. close. Well, the closest we heard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And uh, it's, as we said, quite the vista all around for those of us with eyes. Mm. Mm. And you round round and basically ask him where to go. <laughs> what do we do next? Mm. And he, standing there, listening down at the midden ball, going, mm. looks down towards the beep. Someone's running off. <laughs> Can he hear? Elric. <laughs> <laughs> Having sex. <laughs> With you, mate? <laughs> um, um, That's a minute off, someone heard. <laughs> <laughs> you did <can't say> <laughs> And he turns around and the, 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 and then he collapses down to one knee. And you're just sitting there looking at him and he's now dropped down beneath your head height. Okay, just. Right. <laughs> okay, you're good. Um, as uh, he shakes slightly and twists over towards you, and beneath the blindfold, you can see the slight crackling of ice. Ah, right. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. <laughs> um, as his mouth opens a couple of times, and as it does so, steam, cold steam, comes out. Ice pepper. <laughs> and it feels, oh, it's like rhyming of ice on your fingers as you waft it. Oh, it's cold as the ice spills out across the edge of his lips. And it says, it's not entirely fair to call him a he right now. Leopold says, the second prophecy has come. A keeper. A keeper is awakening. Now, Beneath the city. No. And he looks worried. You're going to have no recollection of this one, sadly. Um, <clears throat> much recollection of this one. <clears throat> As he twists and he looks at you. Your father must know of this. It's coming for him. As you... Skip two minutes. Because something happened. You don't recall what though, because that's one secret that you've not kept. 
That you do know. <laughs> what? He, during the course of that two minutes, is doing things like this. In fact, much like that. <laughs> All right, okay, you've done, you've done one of your things. You're right, you're coming back. I, yep. Mm. It's fine. Smell this. <laughs> S- smelling salts. <laughs> Sausage. <laughs> Sausage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You're making your way through the maze. I would like to have a perception test. Come on, dice. To record the number of successes that they do or do not score here. Uh, three. Three? Nice. Uh, I got a success. So. A success, so that's four. Nice. Nice. Better than before. <clears throat> No! <laughs> the. Oh. <laughs> did you get that hook? <laughs> he didn't, did he? he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is like the best session ever! <laughs> I don't think you fully can go, go to break. Go to break. I'm done. <laughs> oh, oh, our game's so stupid. Um, <laughs> Perception test, um, <laughs> followed by, can I happy. please have an intelligence test or navigation if you prefer? Your choice. Three. Intelligence for me. Uh, zero successes. So. Okay, so, so four. Nice. Okay, we're now at one minute. Um, can I have now an athletics test? How fast are they going? One success. Uh, uh, so we're not chill, right? Pardon? Uh, no, no, not at all. None of these tests have got advantage. Uh, I, will, I have. I yeah, will you have a lot of luck. Uh, two successes. Two successes. Three. Nice. Um, we're now moving to endurance test. Oh. This is a good one. I mean, it has gone on more than a minute, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four is this, successes. Is this for the running uh, or the sex? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one success. Can you doing both? Oh, at the same time. That's impressive. Are we making noises? Yes. A performance acting test. <laughs> oh. If you don't have performance not, acting, that'll entertain just be your fellowship. Entertain acting. Yeah, yeah, entertain acting, yes. Pardon yeah. me. So it's fellowship if you don't have it. Yes. <laughs> God, you bad at pretending to have sex. Uh. Uh, no, three successes. <laughs> <laughs> You've done Seven this Seven successes. <laughs> It's convincing! Yeah. Uh, show on. It's can making I, you feel a bit can weird. I add, <laughs> can I add one with Master? You certainly can. With which what? is with what? Uh, Master of Disguise. Okay, you okay. just said Master, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of debating? Uh, okay, so we're into minute. Um, oh, we're doing not too badly. Can I please have myself another intelligence test? <sighs> We're so dumb. Um, oh, I would say that's cocked, but I don't think it's cocked. No, it's uh, not good. It's oh, not good. It's <laughs> it was a fun Fortune. One. Mine's just above as well. Crit. That is a crit. Oh, oh nice. we get yeah. those extra successes. <coughs> oh. uh, what's that? Just two successes. Two successes? Yeah. Cool. So, um, uh, I'll add one. Crit. Mm-hmm. And that's our first crit. Okay. Athletics test, now we're doing speed <laughs> for the second section guys, of the maze. Come on, guys. No. Uh, two successes. I'll use another fortune point. Okay. Oh, still no. Um, endurance? I'll call tenacity. Out. Tenacity, you don't need to do the test, but you can if you're looking for more successes. It's up to you. If I fail it, though, is that a negative thing? Or? Um, If you fail, it won't be a negative. If you fumble, it will. <laughs> Who's going to fumble? <laughs> <laughs> uh, three successes. Two. Oh. Uh, yes, just <laughs> passed it. No problem. Yep, good. Okay, because that gives us plus four in total for them. Um, and uh, then, athletics test. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, no, I need to roll that. Oh, so close. Uh, three successes. I'll leave that as a fail. Oh. Okay. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> Elric is spending a lot of time, you know, trying to pretend better. So intelligence test. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who are three successes? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, zero success. So four and two. Okay. Have an, uh, an athletics test, please. Oh. I know. It's grueling. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, oh, oh. That's correct. Yeah, nice. No, I, f- I failed. Uh, seven successes. Plus seven plus second crit. Got my second win. Stamina, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Endurance. <coughs> Tenacity. Um, yeah, it'll still fly. Um, yeah. You don't need to roll if you don't want to. Okay, but if you do roll, um, you can add an extra potential that. success. Boying her along and so on and so forth. <gasps> That's a crit! Yay! Hold on, hold on. That's a crit That's literally, well. I have 66 endurance and I roll 66. Oh! Uh, 12 successes. Okay. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm not gonna re-roll, I'll Stamina, just fail. Baby. Fail, this is important, oh, you will fail. lag. Okay, and then in that case, I'll roll again. Uh, that's still probably gonna carry me. <laughs> Strength check. <laughs> Set test, athletics actually. Yeah. Strength. Just for you. No, it's athletics. I'm sorry oh, saying this one. Uh, no, I'll let you do it. Strength. Um, mm. Yeah, no, I'll let you do strength. Crit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Hold on. Elric's on fire. Nine success. Harry <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> wants to win this. <laughs> <Yeah. Eric. laughs> He couldn't She's up less. on his back. <laughs> She's up on his back and he's hiking it through. <laughs> you may getting <coughs> piggybacked all the way through this maze. Make Which noises. way? Left, Stroke, stroke right. right there. <laughs> oh, 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 left, right, right, left. Does the increase size oh, oh, oh. <laughs> give us height? Give us a better it really idea. doesn't. <laughs> you're, not, you're not that much higher. <laughs> One could hope. Okay, so we're on to the um, last part, and the number of successes you get will make a huge difference here. Okay. So first, it's our intelligence test. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come for on. making the right Come choices on. for the last section of the maze. Have some of my intelligence. Four successes. Uh, zero success. That's still five. Yeah, that um, that's good. <laughs> Athletics test. This is our speed. I can't help you here. <laughs> Two successes. Uh, fail, but am I still on his back? Um, yeah, you're still on his back just now, so you don't even need to pat, uh, roll if you don't want to do so. Uh, strength test. Strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to fortune point Fortune that. point that one. <laughs> slowing him down. Uh, with success. No, oh, success. Yeah, not slowing him down that much. Um, <clears throat> and endurance. You don't need to roll. Yeah, no, but I crit you wrong. Last time. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you might fall, right? Yeah, I'm low on fortune. Oh. I'll leave it just to you. Okay, do, no, she doesn't need to. She doesn't need to. You're carried. Yeah. Carried. yeah. Literally being carried. <laughs> and you come out. Let me just do a little bit of totting. I reckon we've just smashed it. Just at one, and a half, <laughs> one and a half minutes. Just before we exit, can you spin me around so I'm like hugging you from the front? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like a front backpack. <laughs> As they come pelting out of the maze. <laughs> boof, 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 boof. <laughs> Two seconds! Woo! 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 Now, <clears throat> our judge is going to see whether he fell for your enthusiastic uh, noise your acting role. <laughs> Now, oh. it was a really good roll. Yeah. The chances nine of him successes. rolling more than nine successes are low. <laughs> Plus, <gasps> it's a game. He doesn't care that much. <laughs> <laughs> it was entertaining. <laughs> Here we go. He does indeed crit. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> Five, six. But oh, scores no. fewer successes. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. so the fact that he scored fewer successes, I'm going to lay it out like this. He totally knows that you're making this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> but he scored fewer successes. He's happy. He's convinced. <laughs> by the noises, and um, he thinks it's genuinely <laughs> hilarious um, as uh, he puts up the blue flag. Yay. The blue flag. The blue flag. <laughs> as, um, What's that mean? Oh, really? That means we take off one minute from the time, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. <laughs> Their union has been blessed. They will definitely have a child. It must be named Boris. Mm. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> he <laughs> says, oh, Barina. <laughs> <laughs> and then shakes and rubs and goes three minutes fifty two seconds, putting them in. 
second place. Oh. 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 Nice. Probably won the book. <laughs> 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 I, it'll just be like a history of the Todd Bringer or something. <laughs> That's very exciting. That's very exciting. Before he even sees it. <laughs> Burn. No, actually, we're short of an entire the case. <laughs> hey, Alan and Wife. Yeah? Hey, Bernie. What are you two doing now? Having gossiped your way around, mm -hmm. and the first half of this match is coming to an end as the teams are all there. A gaggle of onlookers are kind of gathered round, but the soldiers are keeping them back from getting too close to what is quite clearly the star of the show. Mm -hmm. What's your plan? Can we go and do the maze? <laughs> <laughs> we, I think <laughs> We got him flipping hard. No, I, I gave you a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> the middle thumb. Is that our new, is that our new thing? <laughs> the V's, the twin tail comets of Sigmar. Uh, do you want to meet them? Uh, well, we want Gerhardt to meet him, don't we? So we could introduce him if we met him. I don't think he'll think Gerhardt's a girl. No, but they've got a whole doctrine called. Oh, right, yes. Yes, yes of That's course. That's the right one, yes. You didn't mean to match me. Oh, no, no. Can you imagine the babies they've made? <laughs> yeah. Human yes. school really failed, Bertie. <laughs> 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 didn't cover any human school. Oh, so, um, <laughs> so uh, were we just going to go down there and join the, the group? No, no. You are, it's fair to say. Uh, let, let, let's just... Let's just make this very clear. This is a normal woman. This <laughs> is those two. So you, you can imagine, here is a normal person. That's them sticking out over the top <laughs> with their heads and their shoulders, looking around at these tiny women all around them. Uh, yeah, looking at them, you will stand out like watchtowers. Right. That's if you okay. wish to um, uh, move on up, it'll be a little bit like, hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey, over there. And the, we are quite charming and attractive. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's I mean, what, that, let's bring out your attractive um, uh, talents so that we know. Do we have them? Yes, I have. Attractive four. Attractive, attractive four. Two. Gosh. Yeah, an attractive two. Gosh. Mm. Pretty ladies. Also, boom, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> um, so, what's our plan? Um... <clears throat> We'll get closer, mm -hmm. and then maybe we we challenge his ego a little bit. How? Well, we just say loudly enough to bring in his earshot that I don't think the things we're hearing can be true. I mean, I don't know. From where you are, looking down towards um, them, um, he's currently sitting down on what appears to be a bucket, um, chatting with some of the rest of the, the team as various onlooking girls are. Heinrich, Heinrich. I mean, yes, he's reasonably good looking, but at the same time, so are lots of people around. Well, oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so we're going, <laughs> we're negging him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's only one way to know, I suppose. Oh, 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 wait, I could do the thing. I could ask her again because I'm an elf. I can't tell if he's attractive. <laughs> yes, you could. Yes, you should do that. Like, what's all the bustle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's Can our I do a perform bodily check, you know, to get a vibe, a vibe check? <laughs> That's not what perform bodily does. <laughs> Fair enough. Intuition, Intuition may be a better yeah. option. Yeah. Intuition. Can I assist? Oh. Nah, it's seven not really an seven. It's not really assistable. Oof. That's either That's very good. Oh, it's a crit. Yeah. Mm. She can oh, read his, wow. his mind. Ta-ta. <laughs> um, eight, seven, fifteen. Successes. 15 successes. Um, yeah, looking at him, he probably won't even see you. Mm. He's caught up. He's um, busy. There's a lot of noise around him. Um, he's clearly intending to win. Mm. And that is what his concentration is on. Mm. And it's his team. That is what he's bothered by. The fact there's a gaggle of others mm. around mm. him is, if anything, clearly... 
of no interest. Whatsoever. Yeah, quite. He, he doesn't have to try terribly um, hard, does he? Yeah. So. Does any of his team <clears throat> look like they need medical attention? No. Damn. Would you like me to make sure that you're like the girl? We have a doctor. I don't I don't think now's the time. Mm, he's no. completely caught up in what he's doing. Unless we can think of a way to influence the game somehow. <clears throat> we could go and distract the fry <laughs> So as they're the deciding what they're doing, <laughs> up on the hill... That's your performed bottle right? um, <laughs> You're slowly but surely coming out of it when... A, 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 <clears throat> brings you out and a white crow flies right past you. Oh. Arcs, twists, and then flies back towards the pavilion down below where you were introduced to and passed by the graph himself. You hear it flapping away as it makes its way down. And that's what brings you out of your reverie. Does he know that it's a white crow? Nope. Yeah. He does, because he saw it. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You getting back of those? <laughs> Slap your hands away. <laughs> What are you doing? Just, just checking. I don't, you know, usually you check for concussion and sort of things, but you haven't got any eyes, so I can't do that. So this is sort of my equivalent. Do you get hit in the head? No, I know, but do you, do you always space out a bit and, you know, you speak with a different voice? Do you want to know what you said this time? Uh, did I say something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you said, <coughs> the second prophecy is coming. Uh, keepers are waking below... Well, below, the. theoretically, under here, I think. Do you want my he's, notes? <laughs> yeah. the town? He, he said the city. <laughs> the city. He's a genius and he's used to taking notes. Like, pray sir, in my right. No, 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 he's an absent-minded <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 genius. Yeah, Let's get the absent-minded part. I believe it's eccentric, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> fine. Um, apparently, coming to my father. It's coming for my father from here, which is strange. I don't know. Well, if, if I said the city, that... You might assume it was this city, but... Well, yes. What did he, what did he, what did he say? Am I allowed to help him? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Intelligence test. Fuck. <clears throat> I, was, I was distracted. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> zero, zero! <laughs> <laughs> Round <What's your> 100! <laughs> uh, fine, four successes. Four successes. You can give him four pieces of information. Just you choose, he says nothing. Right, so, shh, 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 four, go. Coming, not sorry. Can I start again? Good start. <laughs> four pieces of information is not four words. Okay, so yeah. I can do four it. Piece in chunks. Of four chunks. The second the prophecy has come. Right. A keeper is awakening beneath yeah. the city. Now. I should have. I should have been part of the second one. That's a clause. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a comma clause. That's fair. <laughs> I'm evil. <laughs> One life! Your father should know that it's coming for him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Exactly what I said. What I wrote. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> well, it sounds like we should try and get a message to your father. I've been thinking about ways to do this recently, actually, because there's some sort of bits that I might need to communicate. Number one, uh, Greta was convinced that I mean, he probably knows this already, but that her father was actually going to make an attempt on his life. Mm, I imagine he's probably got plans for that anyway. But it would also explain my mother's current predicament as well. Uh, so, yeah, what, does, what, what do we need to do now? I think I need to drink something warm. Warm? <coughs> I'm really? I'm assuming warm? that he's all cold. Yeah. 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 Oh, like, is this why you've been enjoying Kath quite a lot recently? <laughs> Maybe. Well, no, it's probably more just head down to I the like stalls? the taste. Yeah, head down to the stalls. And okay. it's at this moment, as he's heading down towards the stalls, as you're very happily realizing you're currently in second and first. And we've doubled our wood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. You have. You're, there you go. There's your coin back. Um, and as uh, you are deciding exactly what you will or will not do regarding the Heinrich conundrum that the news begins to slowly spread through the party. 
Carver in Midmond is under siege. Mm. And we'll find out more after the break. News that Karaburg was besieged was spreading through the party. But that's a small, just outside of time thing. I would just like to call out Double Bluff, who has just pre ordered Dark Deeds over in the uh, chat. Thank you very much. Now, obviously, if you're watching this video much later, you'll be like, what the? Go pre order it yourself or buy it if the game is already good to go. Chat is asking when pre order ends. When the game comes out. You won't be pre-ordering anymore. Um, or if you run out, you'll just be ordering. You'll just be ordering. Um, the uh, exact details are handled by Modifius. Um, but if anyone wants to specifically call out, find out, go ask me over in Discord, and I'll go and ask Modifius just to double check what their position is on that. Right. So, or I suppose ask Modifius on Facebook. Yeah, or go ask Modifius on Facebook actually, yeah. because they're the ones who are handling the pre-order part. So yeah, you could do that. Huh. Uh, yeah, delegate. N and also, it. Never, never hurts to let our publishing partners know that our fans are interested. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Bombard Modifius from on high! <laughs> 5,000 messages later! Oh, somebody uh, to answer. Andy uh, Hopper was asking when's the pre-order then? Oh, we just, no, we've we just been just answering that. Oh, sorry, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> and and when do the pre-orders end? <laughs> <laughs> and oh, what can you pre-order? <laughs> I mean, Dark can you? <laughs> Karaburg is besieged. So as, as Birdie and I hear this news, yes, um, because we're watching them, will we hear it before the Palace Towers do? Yes. Yes, yeah, so I want so, to wait and watch for mm. his reaction. So as the pair of you um, back off, and Birdie's very much on the line of... So I get that a siege is bad, but was it really me? What? This, this siege that everybody's talking about. Well, Karaburg is one of the foremost cities of the Empire, and a city of the Empire has not been under siege, well, in most of these people's lifetimes, I would mm. think. As um, over there, <coughs> news has indeed reached as uh, the palace towers pack up and hike it out of there, <coughs> heading off up the hill and off, and, and, like and an announcement starts going out. Um, they don't look... Mm happy yeah. um, and announcements going off saying that the game has been delayed until later mm. meanwhile with you two um, you can hear the word literally on the wind as you're making your way down as people are chatting about it and you can pass that over to um, Gerhard um, Karaburg apparently has been besieged there's a hubbub yeah. down there already people are chatting about it um, <clears throat> what and where you are uh, an immediate pause of events as a whole host of nobles go um, hiking off to find out is this true, is it not true? Others don't care and they're already <laughs> calling out with a do continue on, do continue, there's still people in there! <clears throat> we we should find the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and their prize isn't um, no, until we'll come, like seven. We'll come back for the prize, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you go gather her money though and then <laughs> it's a gold! <laughs> There you go. Cheers. Well done. Any any place in you the time flushed. that I could drop <laughs> off? Flushed. Yeah, um, that. Um, <laughs> you, you look more flushed. Well, you Says, know. You'll be having babies. You should call it Boris. Okay, sure. Yeah, we've been Or Verena. Of course. It'll be a Boris though. You know, down in a... Uh, you know what they say. Spot. This is Spot. We're Ulrich and Raya. They did the thing. That's why Maze is there, the labyrinthine wolf. Mm. He trapped her down there, so goes the story. That's all very nice. <laughs> You've clearly not read no Ulrich and books, have you? No, I haven't. 
let's say Ulrich, he made a few mistakes in his time. Thank you. Um, Alright. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, anywhere reputable to go um, try and make more of these in Middenheim? Anywhere you would recommend? Recommend? Mm -hmm. No. 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 I recommend you leave Middenheim. Alright. You want honest truth? What no. Happened? The gangs here are bad. Mm. They are bad. Alright. There is no reputable place here. Ronald's been kicked out of this place. Oh, they pretend he isn't. But it's bitter. Interesting. That's, that's good to know. Okay, thank you. I recommend you. Go make your uh, travel up to Salzman. Lovely place up there. Yeah. Lovely lady runs the place too. I know her well. Recommend it. Mm. Uh, what's your name, Al? Let her know she says hi. Interesting question. Says. <laughs> Pop. Let's go with Ulrich. Of course. He says, from midnight. That'll be real specific. <laughs> She'll know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> cool. Right, we should make our way. Where would they be? Where everyone else is going. I mean, I mean, I imagine if you look up the hill, you'll probably see us. Because we, we do stick out. <laughs> we turn well, around. Why would they be? Anyway. <laughs> Sadly, you went down the hill the other side to get food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was towards them. But yeah, no, the other way. Man, was besieged by who? Who huh, what? You said the caravan's besieged. Besieged by who? Anything? I don't know. Little well, Eurig. I uh, can't hear people. Don't seem to know yet. Oh, right. Anything? It's worrying, though. Well, yes. Uh, anybody? Largely, most suspect greenskins and orcs. We're beginning yeah. to. Uh... Yeah, people seem to think it's greenskins, and it could be, but it could be the beginning of a war. We might have seen the, the start of that then, if that's the case. We left Elbers. Mm -hmm. They're quite far apart, right? They are, but it is a single road away. So, yeah. like, you could pile down that at speed. You know, How long has it been since we were there? Uh, that would suggest there's been a lot of sacked towns along the way. Yeah. But we, uh, you, you thought it. we'd have heard about destruction between yeah. Delbers and there if, if yeah, the true. Greenskins had, had carried on. But we didn't hear much news about the destruction of Delbers, to be fair. They didn't get to it, they were. Did they? They, they, uh, it was well, the flotilla, did it, they? It was, um... But you're not there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because. When they when when we left, there was <laughs> <laughs> when we left, they were just fighting the defenders of Delbert. But there weren't many defenders, were there? A few knights, token knights. Nobody else really left. And from what I saw, there's a lot. Mm. Mm. So where were you two going? Um, we were just going to go and look for the others now. So we're going to go back <gasps> up the hill, I guess. Yeah. Vantage point. It's a vantage point. Mm -hmm. I've got yeah. good eyes. You have got good eyes. I can sit on your shoulder and get a higher vantage. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Very <laughs> <laughs> large. So you're heading up the hill. What are you two doing? I guess if they're heading up the hill, they're going to stand out. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's fair. Look, there's mm. <laughs> there you go. Alan Birdie. Easy to find. Yeah, you'll be able to see them relatively swiftly. Um, obviously, you won't see them. You're currently do, 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 listening into all of the <laughs> war talk, um, but you'll catch them. They're sitting at the top of the hill behind you, where you were very recently, right on the same spot where he had his turn. Okay. Oh, well, there's the there's the rest of them. I need to speak to Alamina White because I think she's had more sort of crow friends fly around. So, oh, more of the same crows as before. Yeah, well, similar. Uh, this one was white though. So, what like Dodgy Johan used to have. He didn't have a white coat when not. we saw him, did he? First time you saw him, it was black. Later, it was white. Yeah. And you saw him again since then. When we saw him, Gerhardt and I saw him again. When? Give in Uber's Reich. In Uber's Reich, it was white. Yeah. In Bergenhafen? Uh, there was no crow there, as I recall. Right. The fortune. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, it could, it, I mean, it could be Dodger Johan, but I, I, why would he be in the vicinity? I know. I don't know. Just a, around. Just I've never seen a white crow other than... Uh, that is mm, a good point. 
Still, right. te- still technically haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you I, can, I, can, I can feel Elric making, making a really nasty joke. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a seer, right? Similar to you, prophet sort of person? I mean, I mean, he might be. I mean, I'd, I'd probably know better if you'd let me know about him in Bergenhoff and so I could talk to him <laughs> instead of willfully obfuscating that information until he's gone. I forgot that you were being a bitch about this. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. you know, it's quite I, nice, actually. I, I can smell Liverpool being bitter again. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite it's, nice it's when... all that Cathy drink. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite nice when it's just you and me, actually. It's a bit more direct. Fine. Yeah, I should have told you, fine, but I didn't really sort of, no, you know, fine. put it it's two fine. and two together That's at that point. <laughs> Water down the bike. Should we, should we go and see if we can find him? Just I mean, I don't there. understand. We've got that's no, that's no. Let's not do that because that's just more stuff. Let's go find the others and tell them. Yeah. So, we have congregated at the top <gasps> of one of the highest points in Middenheim, and from here you can see obviously the Middenball Field, the Labyrinth Pool, the Palace over there behind you. The Maple. Almost dropping things there. Over in the car, my arms flailing. Um, <laughs> over uh, at the great gates, the great pavilion that's been built over there where the graph was meeting everyone. The um, large tables that are being organized for the big meal that's coming later are getting laid out. Um, out. Even more food. This part is awesome. Yeah, there, there, there is a lot either. of food here. Um, <laughs> are being laid out by the court marshal near the front. Um, and a large pavilion is over the top of that tent. I'm sitting over that too. And people are beginning to gather in throng in groups. But you can also see past the walls the fall of the city itself, um, laid out before you, and in the distance, the haze of the forests of the Drat world. Presumably, past those, Karaburg is presumably besieged as you all arrive at the top. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? All right. Have right. you heard the news? About Karaburg. Yes. yes. Which admittedly is um, upsetting, but right now, I don't know if we just sort of put a pin in it. Why? What's happened? Well, uh, to, more, we had things that we were doing now, here, today. Uh, also, I added on a oracular tone. That has happened too, which. Um, what did you say? <laughs> Blah. <laughs> I say whatever it is. The, the stuff you have written in your notebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that seems. Um, I don't know. Yes. And well, prophecy. Well, it's, no, more importantly, it's the second part. The second What's this? The second, 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 second prophecy. Like which implies that there was a first one as well. What is it? Yeah, but we know that. But, but remember. Anyone got lore chaos? <laughs> no. No. no, we more live it than have the lore. Yeah, if yeah. that's fair. Good comment. More I live think, it. I feel no. like maybe lore. Um, no cow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lore. Um, what's the word? I don't know. What is the word? Lore, lore, because like wow, <laughs> you know, like elves. No, and stuff. no, no, no. Lore, no. <laughs> ancient empire. <laughs> no. No. The prophecy might have been written down in the no. ancient lore empire No, lore theology times. would I be do have a theology. potential one. Um, you lore might... magic? Lore magic, no. Uh, it's about magic, not about uh, this they use magic. Thing. But lore theology, the theology... Do you have lore theology? Um, uh, yeah, lore theology, you could possibly get something to be a lead a few successes in this one. More pressure. <clears throat> Is there a lore... Two successes. Two successes. Call demon friends. Okay, so that being the case, you are so aware can... of the word keeper being used often um, in association with secrets for great enemies of various types of people. Let's just leave it. I, I know it's got vague ruinous powers yes. association. Absolutely. And secrets. Yes. Yeah. And some, something to do with secrets, I think. Mm. Well, but, well, I, mean, I also yeah. have that connection of secrets and in that also, I, I feel like I, I lost time. I, I think I said that. No, you were out for about two minutes. But I, uh, whatever I saw or felt there is, is being hidden from me because I didn't keep a secret. Hmm. And you and you are certain he was looking at as much as you can. He was <laughs> pointing his mouth in your direction when he said your father. Did you feel it was directed at you? I think all my face holes were pointing at it, yeah. <laughs> were they? Um, yes, I, I believe so. It seemed seemed sort of pointed. Yes, yeah, so your father must know of this. It's coming for him. It does suggest 
an entity rather than a person. But does does uh, the must knowing is that a he must be told or he must know as in you must know surely yeah. you must know so it's it's immediately known. Tell him if he already knows no harm done. Can you can you uh, I hate to ask, do you know how to speak to him? Can you talk to him? Do you have code letter? Um, resisting the urge. Unfortunately, I do not. Right. What do you mean you're resisting an urge? Well, you just said, can you talk to him? Well, through my magical vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. You would choose what? that. What? <laughs> <Where'd you>? Wow. <laughs> I think, I think there's some question. things about human anatomy with which you are unfamiliar. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, 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 Alex learned some stuff about elves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, mean, was, I can now magically speak to him. No, I thought... It, well, I thought you would set something no, up. Unfortunately, no, he, we did not have that kind of discussion. Yeah, he right. was very distracted. Fine. You know, um, there was another thing. But we got distracted, but we found one bit of information I found is that the randoms here are not good. Like, they're not proper randoms. There's something made them worse, which I feel like has happened in all the places that Painters. have gone. Bad? But but also, yeah. I mean, the same things happen in the Temple of Ulrich and the Temple of Sigma, right? It's just another, yeah. another legitimate cult that they want. Well, but I feel like if Randall's anyone's going to start having problematic figures join them first, it's going to be the people mm. closest to the thieves and the mm. underworld, right? Mm. We know from that thing that I broke up that they were mm. smuggling things, and that's the, the kind of yeah, place exactly. that the Malcolms would be aware of, right? So maybe, I mean, it may be nothing more than pragmatism. But, they may have simply wanted rid of them so that they could operate in secret. But my worry is that um, the guy we left Lucas with, he made a symbol of Renault. Good thing we left Nils with him, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We should go check on him soon. Um, well, it's all right. Nils is currently covered in that man's blood. But more on that later. Oh, no. Not Arthur. <laughs> He's kind of sure we're going to make a dagger. I mean, <laughs> better that way around than the other way around, I probably. Yeah, mm, it doesn't mean that Nils is alive. No, it true. doesn't mean that Nils is a good guy. <laughs> true. I mean, he's in our party. <laughs> so Aaron's asking on the video. We, we've changed our mind on who's going to betray us first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So so right now, do we want to focus on what we what we came here to do, which is to find yeah. Dagmar, or do we tr switch it out and and try and find this thing underneath the the underneath well, the city? What we could say to everyone. Um, we can still stay here and go around talking to people, but we pivot how we bring up the taxes and we say it's a good job he's taxing people if war's about to start. Have you heard about Karaburg? And then see if they just say something about the taxes. Mm. Then we might find out more about Karaburg. A gong from a gong Ooh. rings out. A gong dong. <laughs> Down by the tent where all the tables have been laid out for dinner. Oh, is it dinner time? Apparently, they've moved it early. Ah. So should we spread out to maximise the amount of people we can talk to? I think yes. But stay within. I love how you think you're going to choose where you oh, stay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you probably have. I was hoping it was a free-for-all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I, I can't see the little signs. <laughs> there were dwarves here, right? Maybe if it's under this city, they might know more about that. Mm -hmm. Depends how far I'm down. Well, it also depends if they're dwarves that go under the city or if the dwarves that go under the city have all just left. left. Mm. Which may be. So, but if you want yeah. to know about no, even could be why. Do we, so, so also, is, is Dagma just the start of something that's currently happening based upon your vision? So so are we, are we still following a linear fashion when theoretically we now know somewhat towards the end, which is under the city, and we can cut out, for lack of a better term, the middleman and go directly to the problem. But he's one of the orchestrators. He's kind of like a leader. Yeah, came, but he would be there if that's the case. We came all the way here to find him. It would be insane not to at least make a proper attempt. But also the prophecy just said the city. It didn't say... This city. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, a good thing I about... Mean, it, it, it feels like a logical assumption, but it is an assumption. Yeah. It's a probable assumption, but it is an assumption. All right, well, sometimes you just have to play the odds. <laughs> if. Don't laugh. Um, the good thing about dinner, though, is that they'll have seats assigned and therefore we'll know who the important people are. Yes. Yeah, they'll be the people that sat 
furthest away from us. <laughs> and, we, and we can observe men flirting with young women, if that's a giveaway for Dagmar. Well, also, this could be one of the last chances because I can if war is going to be kicking off, they're going to be taking all the important people for yes. meetings all for all councils. The, all the palace towers, the men in the team that seem to be noble, mm. they all packed up in quite the hurry and, and looked extremely upset. I mean, some of them possibly they might have not, family in Carabao. They might not even be at dinner then. They might be having a meeting whilst they distract every, mm. the rabble with dinner. Mm. Well, we'll see. We'll find out, won't we? Are we making our way down to the gong that did go dong? Dong. We're keeping yeah. an eye out for who else is heading in that direction. And if anyone's going the other way. Yeah. So many are. The number of people who have been invited into the private mm. part of the garden party rather than what's going on elsewhere is significant, but not so significant that the Duke can't extend a meal to all of them. The tables have been set up, and he's easily feeding five to six hundred. They are in long rows, all sheeted up, all covered, and all of the appropriate. You definitely know how to use them cutlery. I do. Etiquette nobles Upside certainly in. helps. <laughs> That's Unless it's um, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> Pam, that's right. <laughs> oh no, I'm in Midland. It's all spoons, <laughs> just different sizes. <laughs> it is interesting to see the gatherings because there's a lot of meetings and greetings going on. There's clearly a lot of people who know each other, and this isn't Reichland. If this was Reichland, it would all be. Let's just use a single word to sum it up nicely: polite. <laughs> it would all be proper. It would all be done in a fashion that effectively was covering the fact that they are all vicious warlords. And they have this skein of civility. Mindenheim doesn't bother. It has never bothered with this. And it's not that it's that different, but it is different, particularly for someone who has grown up with a very different style of court. <clears throat> Here, there's lots of handshaking and back clapping amongst the men. The women tend to shy away from most of the, uh, let's say, introductions, except for those who are clearly interested, for one reason or another, coming in and being involved. The fashions, from your eyes, are so very different. In Reichland, they have their big, long, wide dresses. They are skinny at the waist. They flare up as they move up to the top. Most of their chests are almost always covered. Sigma right propriety is important. Here in Middenheim, all the dresses are form-fitting and tight. They look far more, just to use a simple word, medieval in style, in comparison to the far later styles that you get down in the south. Um, but most of them have corsetry on the outside, many of which is properly covered with studs and spikes, skulls and bones, and a variety of other decorations. It's very common to see wolves popping up in one place or another. A couple of women literally have wolves with their teeth out sitting by the sides of their breasts. And that's obviously to protect against some of the more traditional men who think that shaking by the poop is the correct way to greet a woman. Um, and this is this this clearly um, falls into two loose categories for many of the gentlemen here. Um, those who hand on hip, hand in the area, greet nicely, do a quick kiss or something similar, um, and they're done. It just looks really weird to the right clanders. The right clanders are like, what are they doing? <laughs> this is culturally wrong, but it isn't for them. Others are quite happy to take advantage, particularly given half of the people here are a bit drunk. There are a few individuals who attract far more attention than others. Two in particular I will call out because they are both Toddbringers, one more than the other. The first is Katerina Toddbringer, who has quite literally a throng around her. There are all manner of men who are far more interested in the potential that she offers as very likely the next heir. Because Stefan is ill. He's just ill. He's unlikely to survive until the eventual death of his father, meaning that Katerina is almost certainly going to marry the next Duke, the next Elector Count of Midnight. That makes her popular, as you can see. Over there, there's all manner of folks attempting to get her attention. She is surrounded by a, a small group of women who are clearly keeping them, let's say, at bay. But they're somewhat less effective than the 20 that is Panther. 
Mm-hmm. Shulk. <coughs> Shulk. The other is Heinrich. Heinrich gathers attention of a completely different kind of, clearly for two very different reasons. One, he is Heinrich. He stands completely separate from the rest of the court in terms of his height, his physicality, and how he appears. And he is also a colonel in the Middenheim State Army, which means that he is someone who is potentially already clued into what's going down. There are various nobles who have already popped over in that direction in the hope that he might know something. Um, He, unlike Katerina, is approachable. He isn't surrounded by all the Knights Panther. He is just a military man who, by dint of his blood, has been given rank. Middenheim's state army isn't like, say, the Reichland state army. All commissioned positions are noble, all of them. In Middenland, you, uh, Middenheim, not Middenland, in Middenheim, um, capability <coughs> is more important than your blood. Mm-hmm. And that runs through many parts of it. <coughs> And the state army, which is a standing army that must be put in place. Magnus the Pious organized this quite a long time ago, 200 years ago. It must be a permanent army ready to defend the army, the empire. And he's one of the colonels, one of the people who leads one of the regiments that come out of Middenheim. Obviously, less important than, say, the mid-marshal responsible for the state army, the general. But he's not obviously here. And even if he was... He's not approachable because he's the midden marshal. <laughs> this is just a bastard. Which means that many think that they have a, within their right to approach him because he is lesser than them. Which is a funny way to look at it. And I, I do make this clear. Many of these men are big Middenheimers. Big, big chaps. And he stands over them, looking around, taking them in turn, speaking to each. And you can see it as you're making your way over as you then move into the queues, because you've got to be assigned your individual places where you're going to be sitting, and they're all making beelines to whomever it is they want to talk with. Um, You can see him generously giving his time to each of them, shaking his head, nodding, saying things, as eventually you reach the point where you are shown over to your tables over there. (laughs) By the toilets. That's good, because hopefully she won't clock me and arrest me again. Yeah, that would be awkward. <clears throat> Do, is this a good time to try and speak to Heinrich and like introduce Gerhard here? Mm-hmm. It might be the only time. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Do you want to take, take point? Sure. What's bastard to bastard. Bastard to bastard. Assuming Dust that's even true. Um, <laughs> quite. Yeah. So um, you're heading over in that direction. You're going to. Yeah. Anyone else going with them? Well, Elric will go just for the if he's a soldier. Elric's yeah. conqueror. Good, good, soldiers. good. Yeah. Should we all go then? Yeah. yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good to have yourself a good group. Yeah. Posse. Here comes Gaggle. The odd gang. Gaggle of pieces. <laughs> <laughs> honk, honk, honk. As um, you make your way over to the towering figure of Heinrich Taubringer. Heinrich Taubringer is one of those rare people who are tall that hold absolutely no shame or awkwardness in their height. They don't do the thing that many tall people do, which is hunch, Mm. bring themselves down. Um, He, indeed, does the opposite. Not only does he hold himself to his full straight back height, very Middenheimer nonetheless, but he's also wearing boots with a full four-inch heel, pulling himself way above everyone else. It does feel like a dick move. (laughs) Way over everyone else. Way over, taking him up to almost seven and a half feet tall. Ridiculous. He is enormous. And it does make all the other... Yeah, all the other Middenheimer lords who are used to feeling Mm. huge. Some of these people are like six foot five abroad. Mm -hmm. Really big people. And it's rare, for example, for Leopold to feel himself short. Very rare. But he feels a lot of people who are bigger than him here. And they all look tiny beside him. Now you know how I feel. (laughs) All the time. (laughs) Quite. So as you um, get closer, you can see there is a certain amount of interest in what's going down. Questions are being fired at him. Have you heard anything? Karabur. And, no, I have no idea of what is happening down there. No more than anyone else. This is going to be handled by the state army. As somebody else off to the side says, yes, but of course you must know something. Have you spoken to your father about it? 
And my father's counsel is for him to... <sighs> Look, he says, we just have to accept we don't know what's happening in the South yet. And when we do, we will make... Yes, but of course, you must know what a... my daughter is currently down there. <laughs> says, you must have some news. Something, at least. I heard that there'd been an attack in Del Bird. I mean, is that true? He says, I couldn't say. I have just arrived today. We could fill that little gap. Is that a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> Does anybody want to pipe up? You're looking at me. No, well, well, I'll ask you whether we should. Yes, well. There, yes, do it. Yes, because yes, we were Do it, do it, we do it. <laughs> there was definitely an attack on Del Burr's. Okay. Can I please have from you? <laughs> a charm test. Uh, yes, you may. Excellent. And then a rolling test. Four successes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Heads turn. As um, I, uh, do, one of I them, do have, if it helps, like public speaking. It does help. It's your sermonizing voice. Public speaking. Let's say it again. Uh, there was times definitely five, times, times, <laughs> twice, so that's times five. Um, I also so passion zeal, but that's not really relevant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, Sigmar told me there. Was, <laughs> yeah, Sigmar told me. There was, <laughs> oh, he said well. we had to be unified because of the green skin threat. <laughs> <laughs> and the other right. um, <laughs> As several heads, heads turn round and one says, well, what did you hear? Uh, we, we've had no news from Del Burr's now for weeks. We uh, passed by, we narrowly avoided getting caught up in a large greenskin horde. And another one says, greenskins, greenskins. One says, I knew it. And Heinrich says, we can't be certain what it is. Don't leap to us. It'll be greenskins. It's always greenskins. And another one says off to the side, um, no, it's not always greenskins. Beastmen, beastmen in the forest, they've been causing us trouble up here for bloody decades. Decades, says another. It's been centuries. We should have just burnt the forest down. I'd like to see you try. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> As they begin we to bicker, and Heinrich puts up his hand and says, Quiet! He may or may not. Ah, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, as it all quietens down, we don't know. I'm hungry. You're probably hungry too. Return to your seats. And whenever we have news, it will be made known to everyone. Right? There is a certain amount of grumbling that he receives in reply, but no one is throwing out any extra question directly towards mm. him. They feel like this conversation quite clearly has come to a not necessarily desired, but most certainly requested end. What are we good, doing? I can give him some spots. I, I, I still think we should introduce <laughs> yeah, Gerhard. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, something different. We'll yeah. stick get around. Your techies. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, if, if we might. How, how do you? It's Colonel, isn't it? How do we address him? You're not sure. Well, I've got Colonel Noble. Yeah. Um, so, Lord, not, um, but he's not so he's got military rank. Do you have etiquette, soldiers? No, I don't know. Elric. Aha! Elric, Elric, Elric would advise. How does he normally? Elric, yeah. Would that give him any sense of how people talk about him? Don't know. Or talk about him, not to <laughs> talk yeah. about him. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Elric would advise. Lord Colonel soldiers. Rank. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, well, etiquette soldiers. Etiquette soldiers. Yeah. That's the one yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah. Um. Uh. So yes, just quite simply, sir. Oh. oh, that's easy. Uh, <coughs> sir, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I appreciate you under a lot of pressure today. Uh, I'd just like to introduce you to Dr. Gerhardt. Um, he studied under Dr. Plaster, and he was wondering whether he might speak with you. Look to you. Looks at you and says, not the best timing. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Helstein, uh, I presume, by your face. Uh, some people would say so. Wow, what a difference. <laughs> 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 he um, says, surprised you were let in, given my father's current issues. That's a very long story. Anyway, uh, best not to talk about whether I am or I'm not a frost. Um, yeah. oh. there you go. That'll be how you got in. Mm. He'll be rubbing their face in it. Yeah. Oh, didn't even look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, yes. So, um... Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Brigitte Frost. Geet. Nope, not heard of you. No, nobody has. The accent's local, sort of. I've travelled a lot. So who's this doctor who can't speak for himself? I'm just trying to be polite. Now I'm asking you, not him. He's, uh, 
very smart. Might be of use to you and your family. You're a purple elf. Purple ring me. Purple ring. Me, me, me. Yes, he's had some successes with some very rare diseases, such as purple brain rot. We thought it might be of use. We've heard about your family issues. He looks over at you. I've heard of Dr. Floster. Mm. Brightlander. Good yes. woman, from what I hear. Very good. Uh, taught me well. Mm. What's her name? Gerhard of her House. Her name. Uh, oh, her name? Yes. What's her name? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a pun. It's, a pun. Yeah. it's not a pun. A pun. I didn't make up a pun name. Would I do that? Yes, I did. Yes, I named her, and yes, I would. And I wrote it directly into Enemy in Shadows. Uh, Anita. So close. Oh fuck. So so close. Anita. You got it. You got it. So close. As he says, Anita. Well, if you. Met her, you'll know she's very proper, so I always had to refer to her as Doctor. Flaster. I, oh, I think I need a charm test. Etiquette Nobles? <laughs> can I, can Etiquette I, Nobles means you get the charm test. Can we assist? Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, you no. cannot. What he's about if he's a doctor as well? <laughs> yeah. if, he's, if he's studied as well, then he will have <laughs> Etiquette Gilders specifically doctorates, right? Yeah, but you he don't might. get pluses for just, the etiquette. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> It's not very true. I just, I just want more stuff. <laughs> all, all, all that'll give you is like a minimum number of successes. You can do it. You've got like four billion luck points. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, just, just fire all your privilege points in. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm doing charm. That's that. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. oh no! Got, so should I just leave it? No! Oh, no! 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 Realistically, no, I've, got worst thing I've got a fortune. Happen. I've got a fortune point. I've got a fortune point. It's okay. He just dies in his bed. That's what happens. Just as soon as... no, we get <laughs> killed. Them. Four successes. Mm -hmm. They killed us cultists. All that. As a latent witch, I think something else might have happened. Yeah. Something oh, bad. Yeah. Look at look at look well, at me on that man's bad, face. Like, like something I could do, bad. I could do magic. I could do it's real magic. You can I, can do, do. I could do magic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the wolves are for. Stop you doing your magic. Anyway. <laughs> there is an alternate world where all of the wine turned to blood. Whoa. And you were found out for being resp responsible for it. Ooh. An alternate world from where you were hung. And Leopold sees it. <laughs> Leopold sees what was narrowly avoided by the very fact that he's a witch. Because he pulled it in. Leopold, as you're sitting there chatting away, attempting to impress him, becomes quite readily aware that you're a witch and you are manipulating things around you. You're manipulating people. You're manipulating your ability to do things and you're doing it sometimes consciously, but unconsciously. And you become quite aware of it quite aware without any judgment laid to one side or the other you can make of that whatever you fancy i, I don't like the fact that i've become aware of it <laughs> yeah it's particularly disappointing when you realize you're doing the same so <laughs> as Liverpool is having an existential crisis <laughs> good job ed good job <laughs> existential crisis boy yeah. um he looks at you and says she was supposed to come and see us early in the year, but didn't. Do you know why? Uh, yes, I do. Um, she was waylaid in Altdorf. Why? And, uh, looks over, sees no, you oh, shaking your well, head. No, well, her, her brother died, <laughs> is the first thing. He was killed. Oh, he was killed. Hmm. Brother. Yes. Brother. Hmm. Convenient. Convenient. Mm. You look familiar. We met before. I have one of those faces, um, <laughs> but you're not the first to ask me this here. I believe I strike, I strike a resemblance to another noble. 
um, one who has got a less than stellar reputation, uh, Castor Liberung. Oh, okay. Yes, and you could understand. Father could have a warrant for him, as I recall. Correct. But he is dead. That does not mean he is dead. Mm. It's good for you that he's not. My father's in a very foul mood. <clears throat> he's attending dinner. I suggest, where are you sitting? I don't actually know right now. You do. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> you just weren't paying attention, <laughs> absent-minded genius that you are. Um, eccentric. Um, I assumed I wasn't eccentric. near the toilets, if I'm going to be honest, but no, apparently, no, we are. We're, we're down that way. <laughs> down at the end. Good. Would you join us? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We should talk later. Let's see if you're any good. I relish the challenge. Well, we'll see. Thank you. He looks at her again. Who are you? Well, um, collectively, we do come under a name. <laughs> We're known as the Jaegers. Who are you? Oh, me. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Gerhard of House Shadowfreud. Shadow. Shadowfreud? Wow. That's a weird feeling right now. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it was going so well. Oh my, just be who you are. Just, just, just. Um, yeah, just no, no, no. I'm Shadow Files. I've said it. Hoist <laughs> it on your own petard. Oh, I love how the whole party just looks at him. Oh! Can so I just... Lupo's looking the wrong way. <laughs> you were just... getting some wine from there. Can I just say it right? <laughs> just say it right. You so didn't. Right. Please. <laughs> You so beautifully did it. My lord. Yes. As he likes him. In the absence of your advisor, as we take Manuel, might I advise that you wait until the colonel and you speak later to advise him of your identity? It would be prudent, mm -hmm. sir. Looks at you. Who are you? I am his advisor at the moment. Alamena White Shadowvale. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. <sighs> Mm. Mm. After dinner, half seven, come to the Royal Barracks. Thank you, thank you. It says, oh, and just in case you don't know where that is, Shaden Faust. Roy. Close, close enough. It's that building over there. Thank you. And he goes off, smiles to himself. And that's how you do. Oh. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, at Just least... Just that pistol? <laughs> <laughs> at least you'll think that you're so bad at lying that there's no possible way you're trying to manipulate him. That was actually my plan all along. Uh, of course. <laughs> It's right. a trick genius. <clears throat> Shall we eat dinner? It's a trap within a trap. When you tell him who you really are, he'll understand why you were nervous when he asked you who you are. Mm -hmm. It's it's a perfect cover. Sure, that's fine. Who are you going to tell him you are? Because it's true. Yeah. <laughs> you have I think to I'll tell figure that out over yeah. No, you have to tell him the truth. Yeah. These people are all with him. It was acceptable for you to lie in public. It will not be in private if you want a chance with him in future. Is that how it works? You want him on your side, mm. so being fully honest. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. That is what I have learned over the past two days, so yeah. it's good advice. I mean, it, it must be nice to have a ton bring on your side. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. But we're also assuming that he's trustworthy. We know that the we'll painters are you know no. people in certain places. <laughs> He seems legitimate, and to be fair, well, he's actually very Ill illegitimate. And we will like corral people towards <laughs> our seats because we're currently just standing. Out of all the people, he has no power. So even if I do tell him who he is, he can't actually uh, ransom me and or anything like that. So we're probably fine. So you're at the children's team. Yeah. Oh. Are we really? Yes. Oh, the height difference is going to be delicious. <laughs> I fit right in. <laughs> you're, you're not bad. Sure. How, how many children are You are, are midnight, there? no. Is it the children's table or the teenager's table? Um, uh, it's a mixture. Um, and they <laughs> range from the ages of six up to 16. And uh, there's a total of 25 kids there and you. Oh. Who were clearly added to the roster at the very last moment. Fine. <clears throat> They are very excited to have an elf, a short elf, 
Um, <laughs> a, a blind man, a Hellstein, because they are convinced it's a Hellstein, a Southerner, love it, and a witch at their table. I was never a lad of witches in our house, so we've got one at the table. Can you make a fireball? Can you make someone go boom? Can you set his hair alight? Can you set my hair alight? Yes. Yes, do it. Yes. <laughs> Can you set my hair alight? Take out some kindling. <laughs> 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 I don't do tricks. <clears throat> so bloody disappointing. Hello. Hello! She's got boobs! <laughs> <laughs> she does. Would you like to know the story of the rune upon my face? The what? You got? Is it like a ruin? No, she's got like face paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. A ruin of what? No, a letter. All right. What's it a letter of? It is a letter of my people. You're not answering me question. What's it a letter of? It is a letter of the goddess Athati. Art. Athati what? Athati. As a girl says, what's Athati? She is a goddess of snakes. You can see it goes with my dress. Oh, oh, oh. Goddess of snakes? Sounds scary. Sounds scary. Sounds like something we shouldn't have, says an older <laughs> one. A god of snakes? <clears throat> Sounds tricky. Yes. Some amongst my people, the high elves from across the sea, believe it to be a rune of the goddess Lilith. But they are wrong. They have forgotten the ways of Athati. Much to their detriment. You must not forget the bonds that you are taught by your elders. Oh, 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 oh. Are you a dwarf? No, I am an elf. Oh, elf, elf, dwarf. What's the difference? Why about, do the about two and a half feet. <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> the dwarves are five feet. <laughs> Are else, are there any dwarves here? Any dwarves here? No, there's no dwarves around here at all. Dwarves they, are they're short. They're left in disgust. Short Shame and we didn't stocky. get their table. <laughs> they are short and stocky, very large people, but, but short, and they have beards and long hair. And they grumble a lot and shout very loudly. My dad's a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's a dwarf most nights when he's been drinking. Aww. Some of them laugh. <clears throat> In what are all your names? You must introduce yourselves. How many are you, of you are called Ulrich? <laughs> it's okay, only three. Um, <clears throat> and as you're getting to know your table worth of children, over at the far end, the graph arrives with a walking stick making his way along. So he goes and settles down at the big table. <laughs> Heinrich is not at said table. Mm -hmm. His daughter off to one side absolutely is. There's an empty chair on his other side. Mm -hmm. Can I can I do a law medicine check to see if he actually needs that stick? Ah, yeah, you can, sure. Mm -hmm. now, I prefer a perception test, actually. Bollocks, that's not as good. I know. <laughs> it's probably it good. fine. But it is a basic stuff. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, four successes. Yep. Definitely needs it. Yep. More medicine test, please. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see. Okay. Yeah. Um, so two successes, three three successes overall. Um, uh, you reckon one of his legs is going out, probably age, maybe something else difficult to tell. Um, but he's using this this stick to counteract something. You'd have to examine it, but something with his right leg. Right, it's, it's definite, real. Yeah, it, it's his right leg. So he makes his way and he sits down. <clears throat> <clears throat> he says, <clears throat> We all sort of slide down. Everybody falls quiet. I will do a perception test for him because if I crit it, he's spotting Verhart. <laughs> I've got a moustache <laughs> and a scar and a scar and a hat and a hat. You don't and wear a hat. You don't wear a hat to the table. <laughs> it's been the night. Somewhat disappointingly, one percent off the crit. Oh. Really? Sixty-five. Yeah, he oh. failed it. Um, so, close. <laughs> so close. So close. But he doesn't spot as um he pushes himself up and says, "There's a lot of talk about war." Racklands declared war on Karaburg. The armies of Tame. 
Oh, no. Anubis Reich. Oh, it's real bad. Have settled around the city of Karaburg. As to exact disposition of this, it's difficult to say. But we're going to have a dinner. You're obviously going to talk about it. So there's no reason why I'm not going to tell it to you straight. From what we can hear, the build offens refuse to support the dissident Reichlanders. So they have decided to take issue with this in the form of warfare. Word has arrived yesterday, but word has arrived publicly today. We knew about it yesterday. Our armies are already preparing. Our coffers may be low, but our taxes will see us through. We received word yesterday from the elector count of Middenland requesting aid directly. We have sent word that we do not get ourselves involved with southern business. Unless, of course, they are willing to accept their part of the north. There's quite a lot of faces just looking like... Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> To make sure he fully understands what we mean by that. We are gathering the armies of the north. Because we won't have a Middenland city taken by a Reichlander. No, if anyone's doing it, we are. And there's... A couple of, whoa! Someone shouts, Ulrich! Shut your head, fucking all! <laughs> Karaburg, the city of the dragon. In my father's time, we had relationships with the build offens. And they were quite strong, but in recent years, they have fallen apart by the imposition of Reichlander ideals upon them. Eat your bloody dinner, he says, as he sits down. It's going to be a long summer. Children. Where's Karaburg? <laughs> I asked Where's Karaburg? I asked exactly the same thing. Can Tell I do a <laughs> like a lore warfare check to kind of get gauge the, the tactical reasoning behind Karaburg as opposed to somewhere else? Um you can, yes. Like why would tame maneuvers right go for him? Yeah, that's yeah. a politics test. I can Different can one. I ask do the schema? You can do schema, yeah. Yeah, like why would they do that? They need electoral support. Without it, their war will come to an end. They've chosen Karaburg. They've yeah. chosen the Bildhofens because if they get it, they can claim wizards legally. Yeah, but, Without it, they have nothing. But, but, but electoral support would be... You're saying they're taking... They want to take Karaburg to take the... They basically... They made it look like they were going to attack Reichland and they went straight up into Karaburg and they're after the Runefang. But they're also maybe trying to pull in Middenheim. Yeah. Why would you want to pull in Middenheim? The articles of magic. You? The articles of magic make it very clear that all the wizards must turn their backs on them because it requires an electric hand, or at least someone who commands mm. the authority like, of one. But why would you risk having Middenheim march south to you? Is it a risk? How far away is Karaburg? Let's just have a quick moment to consider maps. 
That's so, Altdorf and Karoberg. Middenheim. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach that far. It's pretty much on the other side of the empire as far as most armies are concerned. It's not a real threat. It's mm. nothing more than belly rumbling. Okay. It'll take them most of the summer to march. Get organized. Plus, as you know, there's other things in between. Greenskins, green for mm. example. The forests have been stirred up and they're already... Is there really any... If only someone had a wound friend. <laughs> Anyone have Lord Warfare? Yes. Yeah. These guys. Who hasn't rolled yet? Ah, yeah, you've done one. I have not failed. rolled. Uh, but you can do a roll. So the well, we'll see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a success, but I've but only just, got five. Yeah, so do you? So just um, you are semi convinced that the Greenskins were pushed there by the Thames. Corral. Yeah, because it seems to be their sort of way of doing warfare. They're mercenaries. And they have a very... You've heard, you've grown up on bad tales of it. And you've been looking into the teams a bit of late as well for various obvious family mm. reasons. And they are known for using unconventional war tactics. How to cover their ass over in Karaburg. Make it very difficult for any support to come from the north. How's um, how's your... your Supply chains as well, because if you, if you, if well, I, I might not know this. Yeah, yeah you just don't have enough Lord Warfare. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I'm quite happy to just lay that one down. How many advances do you have in Lord Warfare? Uh, ten. Ten, yeah, yeah, it's, it's weak. Yeah. Um, it's enough, you know a bit. But what, are, what if they go down? Does that mean that the graph is going as well? Depends if it's on the side, Tommy, or. Because then who's in charge here while he's away? You know? Whoever's been in charge the past four months when he's yeah, not been. It happens quite often, apparently, when he goes to war. They have a standard procedure for when he leaves. So. I mean, it, yeah, but it's mm -hmm. timing wise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you had. If you had. If Aldorf is, as you say. No, who said that Aldorf was born? Was that you? Yeah, did you say Aldorf is falling? No, no, child? just just the hypothesis. <laughs> uh, let me tell you a story <laughs> about our travels while we're on the road, and Leopold will attempt to distract the kids with an entertaining storytelling. Do you have father? I don't, but I have entertaining storytelling. He's no. genuinely good. He's <laughs> genuinely trying to do an actual interesting story. I think it's a pass, but not, <laughs> not many successes. Father well, stuns, for example. The, yeah. the difference yeah. being that yeah. they would literally not catch anything. Yeah. Tell them about yeah. the monster we saw. Yeah. Maybe we just wait until yeah. we're like by ourselves. But this will at least distract them and stop them asking yeah. for more questions. Stupid kids. Yeah. Everyone has sat down over at the yeah. head table. <clears throat> a collection of, you presume, nobles, lords, and important hang... Okay, that one over there is almost certainly one of the mid-marshals. He's wearing a uniform. Mm. Has he got um, a moustache? He does not. Mm -hmm. um, over there, you reckon that one might be one of the mid-marshals as well. You know there's three. Yeah. One, one has a moustache. One's one is a general. That's the law lord. That's the law lord. One is a general um, of the state it. army. One is the general, basically, of Middenheim. He mans the walls. He keeps all the state armies um, from the defense of Middenheim. The last one's the overall commander of the watch, the three mid marshals that rule the military side of things. Um, presumably, if there's war afoot, that general will be heading south if that's indeed even going to occur. But as you're aware, some of these roads are not going to be easily traversed, and it is foreign territory. It's Middenland. They're Middenheim. And it's past high summer. It is past high summer. Time is beginning to tick. Mm. Does it look like there's a new Graf's champion sitting with them? Nope. Oh, nope. Um, you're, 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 there's, he, the man you know is not there. Mm -hmm. um, so clearly his judicial champion, if he has a seat at the top table, you, 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 I mean, it could be... I mean, I mean, like, you don't know, because <coughs> you don't know who the people are. But you don't yeah. think so. But like she, for example, fought someone that was said to be one of the contenders yes. for the position. No one you recognize. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is Kirsten around? Um, yes, she's sitting over on the second table. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dieter is not with her. Mm -hmm. Of note, over there, Kislevites. Kislevite delegation, in fact. Um, there's about five of them sitting over on the table. <laughs> Um, yeah, totally. Um, uh, including the Zarevich, um, who is there, Alexei, 
um, including the young woman you saw the other day as well, Katerin. Um, uh, one presumes, but no. One presumes. Um, and the I'm chat sure that you saw. told me that because she was uh, and came into the room. And... Apparently, that's the Boca twins, mm. the son and daughter of the um, king of Giza. I'm not from there. I just speak the language. You might know, you know the, the word. word Czar. Oh, yeah, I you do, do know the word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you do. Czar. Yes, thank, thank you, Eleanor. You're helpful in not being a dick. <laughs> Sometimes I'm helpful to be in a dick as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I heard that when you were in the mates. <laughs> <laughs> they have been trying to get an audience with the Black and Pale. Knight's Panther lined the back. And three Knight's Panther are pulling somebody by their sho- by the shoulders down in front of the table. Mm. A certain somebody you recognise. Mm. Balding head, grey robes, and holy symbols hanging about his person as he's thrown to the ground in front. The whole court falls silent. Everybody here falls silent. They didn't expect anything like this. Mm. Anyone with a cute sense hearing can hear them. What about elf ears? That's cute sense How hearing. You've got cute sense hearing, though, don't you? Huh. No, el- elves come with a cute oh, no, sense yeah, height yeah. and different yeah, yeah, hearing. No, you're right. <clears throat> as he's thrown to the ground and you hear voice say eh, desperate to speak to you my lord and to the side the graph why does he want to speak and who even is this as the graph um, says ah Lord Magister and Lads over there. He says, in the rat pest. <laughs> and the other says, What do you want to talk to me for? Rituals, my lord. As you hear the voice <laughs> of Don't oh, you know that is so <laughs> awful. He says, Dark rituals have been cast, my lord. It is my position as an advisor to tell you of this. And I am here to tell you now that something dark is afoot. As the other one says, well, why are you telling me? This has nothing to do with me. He says, I have seen things in my time. How? You're blind. He says, ha, yes, of course, my lord. So very, very literal. As is right for someone who follows in the footsteps of Ulrich, a warlord and a king, or a would-be one. Is that not the case, my lord? Who's he talking to? Right? Just see? some random at person sitting at the top table. Yeah. What does he look like? Um, Get out your thing, we need to compare. <laughs> he, man in his 50s, grey hair. Oh, I, thought, I thought it was Boris he was talking nope, to. Nope. Mm-hmm. No, nope. Boris has already said he's yeah. the pest. He's mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I got mixed up. Mm-hmm. I thought it was both of them. Or yeah. <clears throat> Look, th- do we need to deal with this at, at the moment? Yeah. It says, oh, I told him that uh, he would have one more chance. So he's decided to take it now. You've got one more chance. Of course, my lord. There's no need to hold on to me anymore. I will decide that, says the knight holding him. Ah, of course, of course. I, I bring dire portents. Prophecies are right this moment being completed by the very acts that have occurred. I do not know the source of these prophecies. I do not know what has been done. I only know they have been completed. There was once one, then four, then six. He says, and with this, Karlberg is besieged. Nonsense. I did warn him, says Boris. To the rest, to everyone, it's just quiet as they're hearing murmurs in the distance. (laughs) Stodgy, Johan. 
So yeah. Just, just briefly relate. <laughs> I <laughs> warn you now, do not travel south. There are greater enemies afoot in the forests and in the mountains. You should concentrate your... You should concentrate your forces there, my lord. Hire yourself some mercenaries, my lord. Consider that. There are ogres in the city this very moment, my lord. Consider hiring them rather than moving towards the south. Poppycock bullshit. Take them away. I tried, my lord. You will see. A white raven soars across the top of the tank. The light's on the end. Ah, ah, and then flaps off again. What is this, this nonsense? Why is this happening? Uh, I'm too tired to deal with him anymore. If he had one more chance, he's used it. We'll kick him out of the city. We'll be done with him. Well, who is he? I told you, Lord Majesty. He was helpful during the Nordland campaign. If I'm honest, if it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't have won. Bloody elves, he says. Right. He looks down the table at Alavandro. <laughs> Back over. Right. Hmm. He folds his arms. I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> <clears throat> and then suddenly it all comes to life as food is served and the hubbub of conversation spreads like that. Um. The people in here, they're not just the gold guests, are they? They're the full guests. No, these are all gold guests. They're all gold guests. All of them. Okay, all right, yeah. fine. Quick Top check tier. for... Um, oh, no. I don't know if you should look for them. Is Sig Fedder about? Nope. Not that you can see. Yeah, I still feel like he would somehow be able to get his elbows in there. He probably is. He just don't know where. Yeah. The meal is brilliant, as it turns out. Really good. The children are interesting company. Mm -hmm. If you engage with them, they engage back. If you don't, they don't. They are two, uh, a soul, um, Middenheimer nobles, all of them. Mm -hmm. Most of whom are quite, let's just say, they haven't got a lot of experience with the world. And most of them haven't really had much opportunity to speak to people who are not like them. And you most certainly are not <laughs> like them. Whether it's just the simple stuff like you're a right clander, your accent is funny and right clandy, um, or you're a talibic clander, wizard, but you're a talibic clander. <laughs> you, you're a wee elf. Um, exactly how do wee elves even exist? I heard they were all tall. Um, <laughs> Maybe she's a baby elf. <laughs> yeah, quite. Um, and you're, they you're, shrink with age. And you're a wizard. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're a priest um, uh, of, of Sigmar. Yeah, quite. Um, and, and you're a tall. Um, white woman with white hair and what? Why are you all white? Um, are there I, any Hellsteins at the table? Um, no, no, no. Yeah, that was going to be my question. No. <laughs> um, there's no Hellsteins here. And you're an elf. So lots of points of potential conversation that can be had should you choose to pursue them. But it's also fair to say that these kids are not going to be exceedingly useful in the greater scheme of things beyond their being from a useful cell. No. None of the Orton families have brought the children with them. These children are all here to be presented to one person or to another. Mm -hmm. And uh, the meal passes by. Which then leads you with, what do you do as everyone begins to file out? Are you just going to head off towards the potential meeting with Hyman? What oh. time is it? Um, it's uh, definitely later in the day. You're not sure what the exact time is. Um, the seventh until the bell's round. Um, the seventh bell is ringing very soon, you think. We You've need to go get our prize. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's a book. <laughs> Just want to come, me and you, May, I know, kind of got lost in all the more important stuff, but we probably came second in the maze competition. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh nice. no, no, don't, don't downplay it. That is important. Yeah. Well, we'll see. What was the okay. trick? What? I carried her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a point deducted by being good at pretending to have sex. And we just went left the whole time. Nice. You really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's how mazes work. I have questions. That's how that one worked. Okay. So many questions. Did we meet that guy who'd been there for like an hour and a half whilst we were <laughs> running around? <laughs> <laughs> Did you meet anyone? Uh, no. Didn't see anyone Suspicious. at all. Just pass your way through. Yeah, quite. Mm. 
<clears throat> Maybe some magic rays. Mm. Well. <laughs> Down at the maze, um, there's a small group of people, and they're all gathering because they're hope- waiting for the bell to ring and see who's won, so they'll be announced. And the times are up. Oh. Wizard Grumfeld is in third place. Oh, oh. So good thing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to be ashamed about the brothers. Cool. There's five prizes in total. Oh. <clears throat> First prize is a weapon. Middle prize. <laughs> the second prize is a book. Ah, oh, yes, yes. The third prize <laughs> Two books. is a smaller book. <laughs> is a cup. Oh, pimp cup. <clears throat> you wait. The bells ring. The crowds gather, and it goes in reverse order. In fifth place is a child. A girl who had got quite an impressive time, 4 minutes 59. She goes up to take her prize, which is, <coughs> of all things, a coach. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty a good coach. Prize. As she's, uh, oh, my father is going to be so happy I have my own coach. I will have to, I no longer have to borrow hits. <laughs> this is marvellous this is my favourite day I would like to thank you all so much all of the training has paid off <laughs> she says I would like to thank the graph for, for, for hosting this com- uh, this competition and, uh, and she begins to tear up I would like to thank my mother I'm um, my <laughs> Are you going to provide a compliment? No, we're not. Yeah, not the 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to. Ah! <laughs> um, as uh, she finishes her speech. How did they keep a coach behind the glass for showing off the prizes? It wasn't out at all. There was only four prizes out. It's just a little old picture of a coach. Oh, yeah. nepotism. I yeah. smell nepotism. Yeah. I smell nepotism. Fourth prize goes to a young man with a spiky hairstyle that sits out at a host of funny angles, um, who uh, comes up and goes, <laughs> Zazen Mond! <laughs> he says, Hey! I'll be taking that stick! <laughs> <laughs> that Sigfeder's son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sigfeder, he's good It's at neither voice. Sigfeder nor one presumes his son, but his hair is not entirely dissimilar. Um, the stick is a wand. Oh, wow. You could do run a bit slower. Nah, it might be a good cup. It might be a really good cup. <laughs> As um, he holds it and goes, I didn't know what this is, he says, but I'm going to be selling it. He says, I want to find out how much it's worth. So if you need a stick, I'm your man. He says, I also know how to run through mazes really fast. If you have any need of that, you know where to come. And off he goes. Evaluate the stick. <laughs> yes, yes, evaluate stick. Does anyone have detect artifact? Do you know what I it do. is? Detect artifact. I can only do it once per session. Do I not want to maybe save it for the goblet? <laughs> no, because we'll still have the goblet well, next session. <laughs> <laughs> You're not I thinking need, straight. I need to touch need it. To touch it. Uh, to touch it. <clears throat> We'd like to look at you. You need stick. to know what it is before you can evaluate it's it. It's a wand. If it's just a stick, it's not going to be it's a, not gonna a stick. Be, well, well, what is it? That's so the point. It's probably a wand. wand. What's what kind of wand? What's a magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, magic yeah, wand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you need a bit more um, info before you can okay. do your evaluate. An algu wand. Okay. Oh, oh, now you're just making it up. Why not approach him and ask um, him? That's the whole point. That's what I'm learning. You just make it all up. I mean, Perfect. We, we, we could go and have a chat with him just now. Yeah, right. We'll do that. <clears throat> you're called up. Thanks. Oh, yeah, and you amaze my wife. <laughs> 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 <coughs> the wizard Grumfeld and his wife <coughs> come to call. Oh. <coughs> Hand on arse. <laughs> <laughs> I see why you were worried now. <coughs> yes. Um, as uh, the cup is brought out, the cup appears to be made of stone. Heavy Exceedingly stone. smooth on the inside, possibly marble. You're not exactly a stone wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> You're a stoned one. Um, as 
as the cup is held like so, as um, he says, <clears throat> this is your prize, wizard, he says. Thank, thank you. The cup of glory. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm telling a lie, I, I can't only do it once per session, so it's Pass the game, mate. Yeah. Is it really heavy? It is surprisingly <laughs> heavy. And he made that look surprisingly <laughs> easy to carry. What's it with his giant muscles? <laughs> you hold it, you're gonna hold it up? I'll try. Yeah, yeah, that's the plastics <laughs> test. I mean, it's not hard. I feel like I should be increasing in muscle mass since I carried that guy, and there's, there's no way. You did, you've know. never carried me. You <laughs> dragged him a bit. I tried. Semantics. <laughs> bang, bang, <laughs> bang, <laughs> bang. bang. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no. Pass it. You, <laughs> you, hold you it need together. help from your husband to hold it up <laughs> high. And you, and you pick you me up. I've <laughs> <laughs> um, come to call off. <laughs> The only reason they got that is because of the blessed union that they made within the maze. And everyone could shout, kiss, 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 kiss. kiss. I hit that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you won't mind. Passionate kiss. Oh. Oh. Fire oh. is a thing. Yes. You're going to have to hold Shipping the goblet. <laughs> <laughs> the goblet. Falls to the ground with a bang, 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 bang. Caught up with her passionate embrace. And he'll whisper in her ear, this means nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> You've just hit her king. Um, <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Team uh, Yumi and Elric for the win. Uh, there is a lot. Second place. <clears throat> Sigfeder of House Adenar. Woo! Oh, hello, <laughs> fat boy. <laughs> As um, uh, a young man, about nineteen years old, um, comes up and says, "It's an absolute delight." <clears throat> Oh, uh, thank you. Ah, oh, wow. A book. Wow. Wow. A book. I say. Um, what sort of book is it? <laughs> Silence. <sighs> As he looks round at all the Midnight faces looking at him. Uh, thank you for the book. Um, uh, 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 Boris. We <laughs> might be able to see the book as well, though. Yeah. As, um, he goes off and he goes, Daddy, Daddy. <clears throat> and uh, down below, um, a, a very rotund noble with a moustache says, Hey, well, that's just what happens, isn't it? He says, You know, I'm fucking like this up here. Let's do it. You know, that's just the way it is. Eh? Sorry, son. It's just, you know, that's what you're going to have to put up with. Get used to it. Get used to it. Eh? Huh? Yeah, get used to it. Maybe you should try the accent. Or maybe I should send you. Maybe I'll send you. I know what I'll do. I'll send you over to. Uh, the Collegium Theological. I'll get your accent right, you know, old bloody hell and that sort of thing. Eh? Eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, they'll, they'll learn to like you one day, son. They'll learn to like you one day. <laughs> Daddy, I'm so, I'm, I'm so upset. We could go shake his hand. Woo, add an hour. <laughs> <clears throat> well, yeah, as fellow witness, yeah. yeah, you go congratulate him. Have a look at the book. <laughs> <clears throat> It is um, it, it, it is a fairly hefty tome um, that has down the side of it in classical words. Words. <laughs> <laughs> cool. They are words. They are definitely words, and there are several of them. Mm. But you think that the vol three <laughs> could be volume three? <laughs> okay, good. You, you you think it's probably the third volume of a larger set? Wow. As um, he they shakes didn't your even hand. Give the first <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks very much. Yeah. Um, yeah. What uh, was your time? <clears throat> and um, yes, uh, two minutes four seconds. Wow. wow, that is really impressive. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> first, who has had the time amended? Says one minute reduced. Ooh, that's cool. After a steward's inquiry found issue in the maze. As um, <clears throat> he says, I bloody told you we were busy at it. <laughs> he says as he comes up. 
Come on. <laughs> As um, a far, 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 far shorter girl comes out. No, not a girl. No, not a girl. You reckon she's probably about twice his age. Just mm -hmm. didn't look it because she was so short. I see. <coughs> puts up um, her arm and says, We fucking did it! <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, That's right, love, we did! That's right, love, we did! That's right, love, we did! We get the, we get the dagger! <coughs> Which they do indeed get. As um, it's handed to him. And <laughs> runes light up. <gasps> oh, and he drops it. I hear it's cursed. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> as it dong, lands in the stage and just sits there quivering on its point. As um, she reaches down. Type um, no, Elvin. Mm. Um, and uh, the the woman picks her up and says, "Oh, that'll be great for me onions." Amazing. <laughs> As um, he goes, uh, right, money, wife, money. let's go. Money, excuse me. Um, money. Thanks, money. Money, money me money now. Come on, come on. <laughs> money, money. Can, 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 she spends all my cash. <laughs> 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 you grabbed your are, we, are, we, are we married? <laughs> well, well, if, we had, if we, we had done the maze, we would have pretended to be married, we would have had sex, and we would have won. So that dagger should be ours. Yeah, it's true. I disagree. Infallible <laughs> logic. I, yeah, Look, Paul, sense if we had done the maze. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think you'll want for me? You wouldn't be walking straight for a week, me. my lord. <clears throat> I say. Oh. Winners. How troll. As um, uh, Josie says, <laughs> what do you want, Zilf? Um, Looking right up I, at you. Might I buy your brand new Have you got no hairs in your nostrils? Um, it's an elf thing. Might we um, buy the dagger? No surprise! Hmm. It's a shame, because we were prepared to offer quite handsomely for it. Listen to why. <clears throat> I like handsome money. Know. And some money. Well, how much? Um, three gold. Hold out. Um, three hundred. No. <laughs> she says three hundred gold. Four gold. Two hundred ninety-nine. We could be here a while. Nobody can carry that much gold. They tip off. Just go to one fifty. One fifty. Uh, no. A five. It's one fifty and out. This is my prize. Me onions are gonna sing. Yeah, well, think how many knives we can buy for that. It's definitely cursed. <laughs> cursed. You could, um, Give her one of your uh, What does it say on it? You can't read it. It's uh, not in uh, well, Elfrey. Entertain L3. acting. Oh. What does it say? Like <laughs> 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 party <TV> something. <laughs> Unless, of course, you've got um, an Aquian. No. Then no. Can I try haggle? Although I it's fair to say that Root Weaver had done a queen. You no. could try to recall it. No. Are you sure? Yeah. You could try to recall no. it right now. Read it. No. Oh, is this no. your recovery of corruption points? Apparently so. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's got the same face going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. definitely the same face. <laughs> Just the mayor of. Feeling of that makes her not want it anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. There you go, buddy. Your loss. Oh, well. Oh, look, a gold fell out. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A gold fell out with the first, did you say? <laughs> it did. It fell out. <laughs> Just fell out. It just so, fell you've got yourself a goblet of glory. What does it What does the, it The pair of you have successfully secured a goblet. A goblet. <laughs> it's a commemorative cup. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> next to the target <laughs> half and <laughs> ones. Yeah, go, go. Really? The cop. It's heavy. Well, <laughs> sit wow. down. It is heavy. Do yourself an athletics test, please. Well, I said I'll be going to sit down. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just, a, just for yeah. just general, yeah. how Drop heavy off. is it for him? Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's only into your lap. Wow, yeah. this is a bit too heavy. Well, it's heavier than it should be. Uh, one second before you do this. I can't quite remember. When you do this, does it? do you do a lot of. Is it quite showy? No. Right. In what? fact, he's probably already done it. Yeah, he's probably already done it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we come strolling back. What if their hearts are right? Uh, what do you mean? There are Pass. Things that cursed. I sense if it is magical and I learn 
one special rule it has if it has any. It is magical. Anyone that drinks from it will be filled with glory. Interesting. It is literally the cup of glory. <laughs> Define glory. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that's that's the stickler. Yeah. <laughs> What's glory? You get one. Oh piece no, of I get to, sorry. Uh, oh no. Spend no, no, no. a fortune point. Get an extra piece. <laughs> no, 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 that, that wouldn't do it. Oh. No, it's how many times you've got talent, I've only got it once. Once. Oh. Yeah. Do it. Did I you miss something? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of do. We can go back and watch the video. Read <laughs> <laughs> your lips. We okay. don't want to know. Carry on. <laughs> <clears throat> you've won your cup of glory. <clears throat> What's next? <clears throat> we want to go and try and the book see has if we can... classic gold on it. Well, I was going to see if we could talk to the one guy. He seemed up for selling it. You sure? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Just tread carefully. That dagger was weird, you said. <clears throat> oh, no, I was just trying to scare them. Oh. Someone, it was him who kept shouting it was cursed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, oh, right, okay. So do you think they'll follow after us then? What do you mean? Well, we walked away. Maybe they'll, they'll change their minds. They have not. <laughs> no. I don't want it anymore anyway. We probably should be going. I do have a meeting. Yeah, we'll go have a meeting. We'll find, we'll find yeah, we'll... the uh, one one man. Yeah, but what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do because, now? Because we were suggesting you should come clean with who you are, but now that may not be prudent. Mm. Yes. Now you would make <clears throat> a fine hostage. Yes, you would. No, I'll say I'll do it. I'll do it. That's, is that is that sensibleness or stubbornness talking? I think you're learning the wrong things from Middle Night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, oh god, those dwarfs have rubbed off on you. Yeah. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> no, I, I think I think it's. I mean, I'm, mm. I'll, we'll have the conversation. It's worth having the conversation. Mm. So, are we going to speak? To what if some of us stay outside so we can break you out of jail if things go badly? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. It's a forty night plan. <laughs> we could ask Torikhelm for a favor. It's only like the barracks filled with all the soldiers. It'll be fine. Honestly, yes, yeah, the barracks. Okay. So we're we going there. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Unless, okay, so. unless one boy happens to be on our route. Uh, no, 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 he's not. No, um, but... He's actually going into the maze. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Who can say? Maybe be in this. Maybe at this. Can I he hear him in there? You wish you couldn't. Oh, is he by himself? He is. Oh, is he celebrating? He is. With the wand? You're not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure we want the wand, or if we do, we want to wipe it down first. <laughs> why? You don't want to know why. Don't you? Let's go. It's definitely sick feather in disguise. <laughs> 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 so, <clears throat> the barracks. And as we near the end of our session, you make your way up mm. to the barracks, which is outside the palace buildings, which are walls within the walls. Unless we want to drink out of the cup first. <laughs> 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 Find out what being filled with glory looks like. <laughs> Let's experiment later. <laughs> <laughs> well, just it might, you know, Kill us. seem glorious. Mm. It, it may, in all seriousness, it might make us appear more like heroes. Well, what the it might not, but it might. Or we could use Barracool to chop it up. <laughs> you. What? It's stone, right? Yeah. I get it's it. true, yeah. yeah but it's a strange thing. That's why. It means nothing to me. Nothing oh. today means anything to me. Part of this, part of this conversation, anything Sigmar can do to, you know, help me out? Um. Buff me. Come on. <laughs> do you have a blessing I, I... of remembering names? Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Keep him cool. Keep him cool under pressure. <clears throat> what I will offer is a blessing of protection. Sounds great. That I will do. All right. So, as prayers are muttered over Gurhart before arriving at the barracks, and you are led to bless everyone. Oh, great. Nice. Ooh, nice. Lovely. And yeah. you are led into um, the barracks, <laughs> all the blue uniformed soldiers, and up to an office. Um, where the colonel of the second regiment of Binheim's foot is currently holding court. Mm. Interesting, he's the colonel of the second regiment, not even no, the first. Not even the first. 
The second standards are sitting in the back of his office as you're laid in. Do, do they get to see the artwork that he's described? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh. It isn't here. Well, shame. <clears throat> it's inside his office. You may not have many advances in Lord of the Arts. You don't need them to make a critical <laughs> takedown of that travesty. It makes the worst restoration attempts in the real world look like <laughs> true art. <laughs> it's fair to say... the same one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. <laughs> We are. <laughs> it's fair to say that you have seen worse art in your life created by children, but not by adults. Mm. You hope that this is one of his children that did this. Nice. But the fact that it was signed... Someone actually was willing to put their name to it, but signed. Perhaps suggests that it isn't, because it's quite an adult hand. It has done the... Wow. But it sits up in pride of place on his wall. As he says, Doctor, come and sit down. What can we do for you, then? Well, um... You seem to have brought everyone with you. These are your um, party. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, various advisors and aides, to say the least. And... Teachers, some Advisors, of them. aides, that's all sounding very shadow foes. Yes, well, it, look, I'm here in my capacity as a doctor to see if I can help you in your current situation, specifically that of your brother. I know you have some uh, training in the medicinal arts. And where did you hear that? Um, one, one hears things around the courts. <coughs> where did you hear that? Uh... I actually can't remember now. You've heard it from Ed. I <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> he's just like fading into the back. <laughs> I am not she's here. Got, no. She's got <sighs> stealth beneath notice. She's Laura Stays. Um, Element has gone. I can't remember. Who she's gone. If, if I'm, I, it has completely slipped my mind. If I'm, if I'm honest, um, sort of general gossip, really. I suppose general gossip. Yes, of course. Mm. What are you offering, God? Why are you here? What is uh? What is it that you want? It's been a very long day, and it's going to be a long night, and it's going to be a long week, and it's going to be a long month. Yes, well, the news is obviously uh, interesting. Um, really, what I want is a stronger empire, and I think, well, I think I can help give some of that. What? Where is this going? <laughs> well, it you. What do you mean? If I can help your brother and hopefully bring him up to a certain level then the line is stronger and the empire is stronger and we don't have any sort of scratches his head oh, i see what you're saying <clears throat> and what do you want money i presume um well really honestly it's actually just the deed itself is reward enough but there is there are things and that could be useful, but I don't. Th I don't really want to place terms on that if I don't know whether the job's going to be done well enough in the first place. Well then, I am quite interested in what you managed to roll in your law medicine test, as I ask you a question concerning the foul humours that can gather down in some of the lower organs to the side of the body and how exactly they flush through. Well. That's no, it's not a crit. Seven successes. Oh, good. But um, if we're going with law medicine, so it's two successes, and I'm 116, so that's three. Nice. Um, as uh, <clears throat> he listens to your reply, discuss discussing how uh, the lower order of the barber surgeons would turn to cutting and slicing, mm. where there are better ways to treat the internal organs, in particular exactly what they do and don't do for the human body. He listens. Hmm. Very school response, but with some understanding. I'll speak to my father. That is no guarantee of anything in his current mood. Although one presumes with the call of war, perhaps his mood will improve. Perhaps his mood will improve. 
God. Oh, Lord, did you say you from? Well, Reichland. House. Oh, Shadowfaust. Too much. Thank you for your time. Oh, just one thing. I do apologize. You mentioned um, the coincidence around Dr. Plaster's uh, brother's death and delaying her arrival here. Yes. You seemed quite um, fixated upon it being a coincidence. Let's just say that we put out word for many of the finest doctors that the Empire had to offer, and there were no replies. Mm. That is unheard of. We were offering a significant amount of money, and the more we investigated, the more <coughs> coincidences that there were. And this is not a surprise. Once is chance, twice is coincidence. Who are you to talk? Three times is Who are you to talk? Get them out of here now, all of them. Or you will not darken my door again. I will not have a Hellstein interrupt me. I'm not a out! Hellstein. As guards, Pooh and Yang. <laughs> This whole family name thing is really yeah. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did introduce yourself as Frost. Mm -hmm. That's so my surname, bastard, as far as I know. Right. But if he sees himself as yeah. a Godbringer, then yeah. he sees yeah. her as a Hellstein. Yeah. On the outside, um, the guards are like, um, the soldiers, <gasps> as um, one of them says, well, that didn't turn out so well. He just finds out that his best friend was murdered. Oh. By an Hellstein. Uh, oh, well, oh. that explains it. Who's, huh. Who was his best friend? <clears throat> it's not your business. Another pox-ridden coincidence, though. I wonder if it's the same Hellstein that tried to kill me. Well, you're probably never going to find out now. He says, sorry you got yourself shouted at. No, it's all he right. Says, happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, not normally from, <coughs> not normally from our colonel. He's, he's a good fella, he is. Just of his character. I know he'd ask us not to darken the door, but if we do return... No, oh, no, he won't He won't be happy. Yeah, No, he won't be happy at all. I'd suggest staying away if I were you. Well, if you do a good job, he might come to you. Mm. Mm. Listen to the lass. There's wisdom well, there. Speaking of, is there anyone hurt within the barracks? Oh, no. No, you, you, you can't. You don't have license. No, no, I do. No, you don't. Ah, like you don't have license. Right, I understand. No, no. no. Well, Middenheim. Middenheim license. Oh, is it specific? You is need it? to be a member of the guild of Middenheim. Um, all right, didn't know Are that. you a member of the guild? Uh, no. And if you practice any medicine, you'll be locked away. Good to know. Need to sort that out. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah. looks at you and says, it's not just good to know, that's very good to know. <laughs> he says, someone in your shoes, I'd advise going to the, uh, the guild of physicians. He says, it won't cast that much. You look like you've got a man or some means with you. <laughs> he says. Yes, all right, good. <clears throat> and uh, you're taken um, down and out of the barracks on a bit of a bang. I wonder who his best friend is. Mm. Mm. I wonder which house, Dean. Interesting. Did, was it you sure it who overheard the conversation of the Midden Marshal and have you told us about it? him going to go talk to the Hellsteins. So perhaps he was Whoa. friends with the Midden Marshal. Although we only saw two at dinner. Well, and we only saw two at dinner. dinner. Mm. And maybe he got killed. We would have thought we'd have heard gossip about that as well. But we've been within this little bubble, haven't we? And we we found it happened. Well, if he only just yeah. found out it as well, to be fair, it might yeah. have literally happened today. Mm. Yeah. So you're sitting outside, you're still inside the, pa the mm. palace grounds, the main walls of the palace. And the mm. palace itself is walled within this area. Um, as bells begin to ring out across the palace. I don't understand anything that's happening anymore, buddy. Dong dong. Cries. <laughs> Welcome dong, dong. to my world. Like, as like, the they just, soldiers, like, sobs just, on her just puts her hands the like, soldiers so by the barracks fine. perk up. Hey, oh. Dong dong, dong dong. Is that bad? Knight's Panther are now. Um, pum, 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 pum. Dong dong, dong dong. To, to the soldiers, is that Do yourself bad? a perception test. Are any of the Knight's Panthers ones that I recognize? I'm perking up. Seven, from success. my Seven successes. Honestly, you hear I'm a scream whiplash with you. off in the distance. 
Um, seven successes. That scream is accented outside of Middenheim. I'm willing to give that. That's the joy of stupid perception. You've got cute sense yes. perception. Yeah. That's Run, the sort of stuff that occasionally you get. It, is, it, is it coming it's from? It's coming from, uh, oh, that direction. And looming out is the Kral of Palats, where Yume's family were. So not where the Night's Panther are running to? No. It's a scream over there. The scream is coming from over well, there. Let's go over there. <clears throat> As um, uh, you... Move over. A couple of the soldiers have come over as well. Mm. And Knight's Panther are barring entry in as they look over and say, um, you need to step back. There's been a murder. Sarovich Alexei's dead. Oh. That's his best friend. And with that, we bring the episode oh. to a close. <laughs> <laughs>